Let's go! What's going on, everyone? It is Elias, and welcome to Solo Q to uh, Iridescent episode number five. Right under me, that uh, logo should change to Solo Q right now. What's going on, everyone? I've been a full-time Call of Duty coach for the last three years, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am always happy to help. Today, we are going to be solo queuing. We're going to check out the CDL gameplay. We're going to do a watch party. And then, of course, we're also going to answer any questions about spawns. Uh, so in this solo queue, one of these games, I'm going to be talking about spawns a bunch just to try to help you guys out with that. I would also pull up um, Six Star Hardpoint. And I'm going to try to show you guys the spawns on Six Star Hardpoint as well. Um, and at least just try to like give a decent um, explanation of them. Uh, but what's going on, everyone? <laughs> I hope everyone is doing good. What's good, Luna Chris? What's good? Oh, my gosh. I hope everyone's day is going good so far. It is Friday. Happy Friday to everyone. We officially have made it. And we are officially dying. But <laughs> first game on, first gunfight. Unfortunately, we lost. But guess what? We're soaking up that time. I'm going to go for an early... Oh, wait. Did I just... Did I see someone here? Yeah, I did see someone here. That sucks. I'm going to get, go get this trade. All right, cool. That enemy really didn't want to even... Cool. We are playing diamonds. We are in copper. All right, there should be a guy on my left right here. Yep. There we go. Play my life. Get this guaranteed too. Where'd this guy go? <laughs> What's good, Dave? What's good, Elena? What's good, Urs... Uh... Ezram, what's good? What's good? What's up? What's up? Happy Friday. How is your guys' Friday so far? Um, mine is just starting, obviously, but uh, love to get to know how yours uh, yours guys' are. Nice. Bait and switches. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's a tough gunfight right there. Dang. Thought someone was going to push me. I feel like someone's eventually going to push me here. Just gonna wait for my team get close. Cool, my team is close. I'm gonna leave that guy, push up, get this kill, pick up this gun. No, dude. Maybe I should have killed the guy to my right first. That would have been a better play, but honestly, I thought I was work cooking something up right there. Uh, there was a Timothy Chamele guy over here. Where's the Timothy Chamele? What's good, Leo? What's good, Yvette? Hey, Elias, glad you're gonna be talking about spawns because I'd be struggling out here. Yeah, so um, once we get a you know a few more viewers, maybe the next game we're gonna talk about spawns and you know how to play them. Um, and then six star, we're gonna go over that. And then of course, when we're watching the pro gameplay today, we're gonna watch the pro gameplay and go over tips and tricks on how to like learn those spawns as well. Uh, so right now, these enemies are more than likely just gonna push middle. So as expected, they push middle. Should be a guy right here. Oh, okay, good team shots. Last guy top middle. That'd be all four dead. We want to push out, get map control. Excellent play by my teammates. What's up, man? How are you doing today? I'm doing great today, Chocolate. I'm doing fantastic. It's a Friday. Bro, we have so many people in chat already. I just feel so privileged and just... I appreciate you guys. I appreciate every one of you guys. Um, thank you guys for showing up and, you know, making a kid's dream come true. Uh, but, all right, that's all four dead. These guys are going to start rotating, and when they start rotating, they're going to be hitting up right here where I'm looking. There's one. Should be two more. Okay, should be two more. Should be one more. Usually, you're going to want to reposition right here, but this is such a power position. Like, I'm literally just going to stay here. And as long as I play my life, my teammate can guarantee those uh, flanks. And just like that, my teammate guarantees those flanks. Pop a reload. Challenge back again. He already crossed. Guaranteed. 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 They're going to keep spawning there. Eventually, they're going to hit an outer, outer route. Another guaranteed kill. Literally about to drop a nuke on this freaking car right here. This guy's going to come lower. Challenge lower, please. Challenge lower. Okay, he's not going lower. He went middle. But, dude, these guys are just, like, giving me all the kills. How awesome are they? And uh, right here, I just need to grab some ammo. I know this guy pushed me left, but... All right, cool. I'm behind these guys. I'm behind, like, three people. Okay, that guy didn't see me. That's a tough gunfight. Yeah, dang, dude. All right, damn. <laughs> we got a bunch of kills right there. What's up, man? Uh, enjoyed the session yesterday. Buzzing to now be a gold. Let's go, Leo. I'm glad you enjoyed the session yesterday. Phase up. I can't wait for those matches today. 
What do you think of the new maps? Elena, the new maps are perfect. I'm so happy we have these new maps. This game is so much more fun, so much more smooth playing it now. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to have these brand new maps. Of course, designed by Treyarch, some of the best map designers for competitive. It's just good, man. It's just good. So if you guys are wondering, how did I know that guy was going to be there? My teammate spawned secondary. So because my teammate spawned right here, that proved that an enemy spawned over here. Um, and it's probably because my teammates were pushing up too far. So that was an easy read. 20 seconds left. Usually the enemy team's going to have a full rotation for new. So I'm literally just going to push up and go for a flank. Deuce just died. Deuce is going to spawn up and push me front right here. So I'm going to pre-aim for Deuce first. There's Deuce. And then there's two more players that died, and they're spawning up right now. So, there they are. Fly at this kid. Nice. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful trades right there. Got a lot of kills. We are now soaking up the time, and this should be a very easy GG right here. No cap. Uh, make sure I throw a stun. Make sure no one's pushing that. Cool. Have support for my teammate. Are they going to push out the right, or are they going to push out the left? They're pushing out left. Should be a guy heady right here. I'm going to nade that. I'm going to push up, get map control. That was a good stun grenade on their part, but I'm going to sit in this corner now. I'm going to keep my gun pushed into the corner so they don't see me pushing up. If I didn't keep my gun in the corner right there, those enemies would have saw me, basically. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I had no idea that the enemy was right there the entire time. That's a little embarrassing, but usually the enemies try to push through old because that's usually the better play, but... Obviously, they're hitting front, so I'm just going to go support my teammate, throw a trophy. We're missing one guy, so I'm worried about this last guy, like, pushing us all the way around. But it looks like we're just ignoring him, so I'm going to literally just hold our full flank like this. Maybe I get to see a cross. Cool. At least guaranteed one. Awesome. Didn't die. Played my life. Love that. And right now, I can push this out. I can go boxes, and then I can spawn trap the enemies. So I can pull out my AR. Come right over here at boxes. And unfortunately, they're playing for me. But look, I wasted all that time. And uh, because I waste that time, we should be getting time. Because I wasted their time, we should be getting that time. Because I wasted their time, I'm now getting their time. Okay, that uh, <laughs> we should have guaranteed like 20 seconds right there. But it is what it is. I'm going to ego challenge this just because I'm feeling myself. Ego challenge, filling myself. This guy's going to push right here. Oh. Oh, bro. I thought I was going to slam him. Yo, what's good, Vison? What's good, Carnage? What's good, Dave? What's, oh, well, I already said what's up to you guys, but it's all good. Why do I get invasion three times and still no new maps? This game loves me. Dave, I, I have no clue. I wish I had an answer for you, man. Because I run into, like, the same issues. It's so freaking annoying. Awesome. Easy read. Terrible grenades, though. I'm going to camp in this corner because my teammates are going to shoot over me. Pop a reload. Boom. Guaranteed two. Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to guarantee the two-piece right there, but it did not go my way. And now we got to rotate. This is where we're getting really lazy as a team now. This is where people are just like letting the game get ahead of themselves. And this happens all the time in ranked play. It happens a lot in challengers as well, where it's just like, dude, just like clutch up. You know what I mean? Like literally that's all you have to do is clutch up. And uh, hopefully we can do it here. All right, these guys, honestly, it's not a bad play if these guys do hit top middle again. So I'm gonna hold a pre-aim for a second. Look at that, look at that. Easy read, I'm gonna keep holding a pre-aim. There's the guy I was looking for, just ran right in front of me. That's two dead. And please, the guy garage, get time, dude. The guy boxes is never supposed to get time right here. The guy box, uh, the guy boxes should always stay there. But <laughs> at least we got a freaking win. Uh, GG's first game on, easy dub. That honestly was a little bit annoying towards the end right there. Just because, like I said, <laughs> we made the game so much harder on ourselves. We could have won by 100 points guaranteed. Your game sense is unmatched. Such a good creator to watch and learn from. Thank you, Leo. Um, fortunately, we are only playing against Diamonds right now, so that was a very easy game. Diamonds are typically, like, always doing the most predictable plays. Um, but, no, it was a good game. 27 and 12. Dang. All right. Yo, 
Someone give me a super chat for that challenge. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, dang, first game on. I'm really happy with that. How much SR do we get, though? That's always the question. How much SR do we get from that try-hard match? Top of the leaderboard. Winning by 100 points. 85. Yeah. That, that That's a hard pill to swallow right there. That's a really tough pill to swallow. Ugh, only getting 85 for that? I feel like, dang, man. Give me 120, please. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but if you YY on the points in control, the point moves faster, especially on defense. Carnage, what are you talking about? First of all, April Fool's already passed, so I hope this is not an April Fool's joke. And second of all, where'd you get your proof? I want to see that. If that's true, that is insane. They need to fix that. Please let me know. <laughs> Because imagine that's literally a bug. Imagine just having one player on the point just spamming YY. And that counts like four players on stack. Like, dude, that'd be so broken. <laughs> chocolate. Dang, you made me feel bad. I'm a diamond. No, chocolate. I'm sorry, bro. I just met, I just met my opponents. Never us. This community, everyone's dominant. I have confidence that my bronze players in this community can always slam an iridescent. That's how we are. Call that delusional confidence. Call that Elias confidence. I don't know. <laughs> um, but no, I, did, I, did, I didn't mean to say that chocolate. I'm sorry. Deserved Leo. Dude, you didn't have to. Thank you so much for the five pound, right? That is a pound sign. Not a euro sign. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a pound. <laughs> All right, come on. What, what What's our second game? Like, why is this taking so long? Let's see here. Oh, yeah, let me go ahead and also post my uh, membership pin message, and then let me go live with another short. The next short that I'm going live with um, isn't that, like, impressive or whatever. It's just, like, a pretty chill clip. Uh, but, dude, the last short that we uploaded on Wednesday... Holy crap, that thing blew up. And a uh, huge shout out to you guys for uh, checking it out. Of course, leaving a like. That being said, if you guys leave a like on this video, that helps me a ton as well. Yo, what's good, Elias? What's good, Furious? Luna Chris? W Leo? Absolutely. Absolutely. W's to Leo. Absolutely. Uh, it does uh, work. Lol. Carnage. Holy crap. All right. We have a control right here, Carnage. I'm going to start doing that then. I'm going to just spam YY. And hopefully, you're not trolling me because... The YY is literally useless. The YY does nothing uh, for people. So this would be a really funny, like, glitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are loading in so fast. I don't even have time to post this. All right. I don't even have time to post this. What's good, Square? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Happy Friday to you. You looking forward to the CDL this weekend? In fact, everyone, are you guys looking forward to the CDL this weekend? Pretty excited to watch the matches. Uh, of course, we're going to do the watch party today, and I'm going to be, you know, breaking down the pro gameplay, explaining what they're doing, why they're doing it, and, uh, oh my goodness, wait, why did that guy, wait, that was Havoc? Oh, hey, it's Havoc and Ready in them, I love it, I love it, baby, heck yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to go flank these guys right now. Sorry, guys. I'm not talking right now just because I'm locking in. Havoc should be pushing right here. Yep. Easy read.
one shot. Nice. Let's go. Easy dub. Easy. Easy. All right. Round one. Round one out of the way. Hey, bro, I always play with and against Havoc. So far, I've beaten him once. Let's make this two. Let's make this a two-timer right here, guys. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. What's good, Marcus? What's good? What's good? Time to go. Uh, it's busy, right? Yeah, no, no. I got to lock it in. I got to lock it in. Two favorite streamers. I swear you're always playing against Havoc. Dude, please. I got to play with him, man. Like, uh, when? When? <laughs> Like, let me play fundamentally correct for you. Let me win you the games for you, man. Nice. 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 Let's go. play for this guaranteed two ideally no havoc i hate i'm just kidding wait he heard me he heard me are you kidding me i'm upset all right we killed him uh, there we go three no top red that's irritating All right, these guys are going to have to go A, so I'm going to push out this right lane. And I'm going to take my time. So all of them just spawned up right now. So I'm actually going to hit a longer route instead of going top third here. Nice, okay. One more. One more. One more round, guys. One more round. I'm starting to, like, kind of get upset. Like, is Havoc trying to, like, make a fool of me right now? Oh, Tab is cheating? I was just going to call a T2 on my team. What are you talking about? come on. That's not me, Havoc. I'm solo queue till the day I die. I'm solo queue till the day I die, Havoc. They saying two on your team cheating. Oh, that's terrible then. That's terrible, bro. That sucks. All right then, never mind. Dude, our teammate got disconnected, so now it's like, how the hell are we going to win this? Oh my gosh. Well, Joshua, I was going to beat him again, but apparently my teammates are hacking, so it's not even, like, worth it. And not only that, but it's a 3v4 now, so it's like, winning a 3v4 is not easy. Of course, bro. This is just irritating. I'm just going to pull out an AR now. <laughs> Play for kills. Bro, you gotta be joking me, bro. That's just irritating, man. I don't even want to play anymore, dude. They were saying someone was cheating on your team. Yeah, yeah. It's just... It's so stupid, bro. It's stupid because, like, literally, I was so excited to play against him again and, like, try super hard, go for the win. I thought, like, oh, dude, I'm the reason why we're winning. <laughs> and literally, now my freaking teammates are hacking, so it's so stupid, bro. Well, I'm just disappointed you called me a cheater out of absolutely everyone on my team who they're all cheating. I am not I mean, cheating, my good sucks, sir. To be honest, Tabsy. Alias is clean. Tabsy, you really sucks, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Control. Ow. <laughs> Why does everyone jump to that shit? The guy that was ended up fucking DCing, so I'm confused. Are 
Do you like the covert sneakers are in ranked, or do you well, think they should be footstep sounds? No, you should have, um... Oh, wow, look at this. Fire. That just proves that fire is a freaking hacker, dude. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Dang it, dude. I mean, I'm getting tracked to the wall and everything, but uh, <laughs> teammates over here saying I'm cheating. That's fucking wild. <laughs> Bro, fire. You, I just, I just can't anymore. Anyways, co covert sneakers. Covert sneakers should be in the game 100%. Like fired around every fucking corner now. <laughs> uh, of course, we, we go 2 and fucking 0 oh, and uh, teammate DCs, and now all of a sudden it's just fucking phenomenal. It's just vibes are killed now. Vibes are killed. I was so happy to like play against him again and fortunately. Push this, please. All right, well, <laughs> any Rebirth rank content in the future? Oliver, once I hit Iridescent in this, I'll probably go for Iridescent, but I try not to play Warzone just because Warzone is just, I don't enjoy yeah, Warzone anymore. anymore. I used to love Warzone 2019, but. Nah, we're too sacked. Nah, we're so late. I run with you guys after? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. You have to prove that you're not cheating via 1v1 shipment. Ooh, yeah, I'm, down. I'm down. Do you have Discord? I'll, I'll share my screen. <laughs> oh, me and Tab should 1v1 to see who gets to play with Havoc. Yo, that'd be sick, right? Can't believe I clutched a 1v9 for the dub. Capture the point. Let's go, Dave. Said you're clean. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate Havoc. I mean, like I said, me and Havoc like play against and with each other, or not with, but we played against each other a crap ton. So, yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's nice knowing that he knows I'm pretty legit. I believe Reddy is like almost slamming me right there. What ping am I on? Do I just have a bad re reaction? Oh, he's in fire. <laughs> I'm just trying to vibe right now, guys. I mean. Yep. Can't believe Clutch the 1v9. Dude, Dave, that's insane. Did you post it? I would love to see that. Did you see Bams got banned? Dude, I saw Skump got banned. I got, dude, literally so many people got banned. It's so funny. No, of course not. I play with my IRL stack. <laughs> but um, yo, pick me up and search me up on Twitter, bro. Like I, I made it semi-pro in Fortnite. Like I'm, that's why I'm on keyboard and mouse. Oh, that ass? Yeah. I'm that's so. Ready, set, help box you. I swear. Yeah. Chat me on Fortnite. Yeah, GGs, Avic. GGs, GGs. GGs. Avic, guys. shoot me the invite. Come on. Sorry, Tad. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta shake it off. We win the first game, and then we play against Havoc. <laughs> I thought we were going to win, but unfortunately, one of our teammates were hacking. That's really annoying. Um, I think you will be more known if you run with the squad. If you consistently beat Skump, Highs, Havoc, they will uh, they will now know you're legit. Yeah, Dave. I mean, I've already beat Skump. I've beaten uh, Apathy, Sensor. I've beaten Havoc uh, all through solo queue. So I'm doing pretty well solo queue, but I'm just waiting for the day where I can hopefully try to, like... Uh, Get into a lobby with uh, one of them and team up. Like, I'd love to play with Havoc right now if that's possible, but I'm sure he already has people in line waiting. Um, so, I don't know. I'll uh, Pitbull Dale.
I don't know. I guess I'll like send a friend request and maybe he'll add me back, but I doubt it. Oh, he, ha he has max friend request, so it ain't working. It ain't working. Uh, but Reddy, Reddy's famous. Maybe if I add him, he'll uh, invite me and uh, maybe I can 1v1 him. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. Uh, either way, we're going to go ahead and load in. Uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, Skump, Octane, Highs, a lot of them got banned. Uh, obviously, it, I don't know why the reason why they got banned, uh, other than maybe they had like an unlock tool or something like that. But it, it, most of them just said that it was not justified, right? Um, so yeah, it was not justified. <laughs> Leave it at that. I think you will be more known. Oh, okay, I read that. Read that. Glad I grinded for my camo. Same here, Vizen. Dude, when I learned that if you paid someone to grind your camos, you could get your account banned. I was like, damn, Activision really trying to make sure people pay for the Call of Duty and not for people to, you know, rank up the camos. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, Ab Abuza, he got banned. Um, his CDL account got banned because he was in a lock tool just to get some swag. And that was like a meme going on. It was just like, wow, I can't believe this man <laughs> sacrificed his whole spot just for some swag. <laughs> I want them to see your name and think, fuck, we're losing. Dave, I mean, shoot, it'll be that one day. It'll be that one day. I mean, we're already almost there, dude. We're, we're climbing our way up to people knowing my name, people being scared. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta, I just got to keep up the grind, man. And uh, time will only tell, of course. Uh, and regardless, you know, it, it's just all here for fun, helping you guys get better, not only in-game, but out of game. Uh, just freaking appreciate all of you guys, uh, as always. Um, can we peep your ranked stats because mine are cooked? Yeah, Goku. Uh, so everyone keep in mind, I only do solo queue. Uh, very rarely do I play with people. So these stats may look drastically weird, um, but I have a 1.03 win uh, loss ratio and I have a 1.24 KD. My favorite weapon is the MCW because I shuck with the rival nine. And uh, out of 584 games, four days and 20 hours played, Okay, interesting. Interesting month, interesting time. Uh, that's how we're rocking, bro. That's a common, uh, that's a come on, man, moment. Don't get it. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Risk, risked his whole uh, career just for some swag. It's, it's just a good old funny joke, man. They said BAMs had walls and soft aimbot. I mean, we, we really never know at the end of the day. Um, it, it's just not only, so here's the crazy part. Here is the crazy part. That huge ban wave, of course, it had the ban wave with people using VPNs, people who pay people to level up their camos, people, of course, who hack, people who use an unlock tool. Not only that, but apparently they also banned people if you spam reported way too much. So it's just really insane where like maybe just because, I don't know, Bams got upset at one point and spam reported someone, he could have got banned. You know, it's just, you never really know. And especially Activision isn't coming out and saying, this is the reason why you got banned, which really doesn't help anyone to begin with. Let me see a dub now. Dave, I got you, buddy. We got the first dub. Unfortunately, we played against Havoc 3v4. Couldn't get the dub. Uh, apparently, my teammates were hacking, so I wouldn't even want the dub, honestly. Uh, but no, this next game right here, we're going for that dub, Dave. Thank you so much for the three euro. Okay, okay, hold up. So now looking at this, I now see this. Dave, you sent a 249 euro, right? That's the that's the icon. And then Leo, you sent a 499 pound. They both look like E's, but they're different E's. Did I get that right or did I did I get that wrong? Uh, but yes, W's in chat for Dave, and thank you, Nightbot, so much. Nightbot just said, if you guys want to help me out, please leave a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. Uh, literally, last live stream, we got over 120 likes on the video, and that live stream just blew up. So it really, really does help, and I'd appreciate it if you guys can do that. Uh, but please tell me this is a six-star hard point and not an SND. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to lock in for this game right here. I'm not going to be looking at chat too much, but the reason why is because I'm going to be talking about the spawns the entire time, okay? I'm going to be showing you guys how to play six star.
Bro, I'm 0-4 on the new six-star map. Hopefully this helps you. That's Euro, that's Pound. Oh, bro, let's go. I'm getting smarter day by day. Thank you, Dave. Have you got any tattoos? Not at all, Square, not at all. I'm actually allergic to nickel and cobalt. So there's a lot of nickel in tattoos. I just don't want to get a tattoo and have to deal with uh, um, just constant rashes, you know what I mean? What CDL team do you support? I support all teams, but ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm going to do a video right now. I'll answer questions after the video. Whew. Welcome to Six Star Hardpoint. Today, we're going to teach you how to play Six Star and specifically, where are all the spawns? So right now, I'm going to be pushing up the left lane because usually no one does push this, but just because they stun me, I'm honestly not too afraid. I am going to fly at this kid. Unfortunately, I do lose the gunfight. All good. I'm going to restart the video because we went four dead and that is tragic. All right. Welcome to Six Star Hardpoint. Today we are going to be breaking down Six Star Hardpoint, specifically learning about all the spawn points. So right now, all the enemies are basically still spawning in front of me, trying to get these guys off of time. And right now, all of my team, even though we're all four dead, we're going to be spawning at new over here, and P2 is right here. So just because we spawned over here in the bottom right right now, that means the enemies are pushing up on the right lane. But thankfully, our teammates won the gunfights, and those enemies are all spawning out over here and over here. So we can already see one of these enemies be pushing up on this right lane right now, and that's what I'm looking for. Dang, he already got there a lot faster than me, so at least now we know the timing that he gets here faster than we do. And where they are playing, they are anchoring. And more that I talk right now, the more I think we're playing against a four stack. And if we're playing against a four stack, I need to lock it in. Okay. All right. Now all these enemies are spawning right above us right here. They're going to be spawning right in front of me. There he is. There's one. And they're going to keep spawning there unless my teammate gives up map control. And because my teammate gave up map control, I am now anchoring. We have these spawns. And now all the enemies are going to be in the front of hill. So I'm going to pick up middle right here. Fortunately, we all four died. All right. But look, look, we got to flip at P3. So because the enemies killed all of us and they pushed this elbow right here, they flip spawns. And now we're spawning at new hard point. And this is where we can guarantee potentially a full 60. Now, playing this hard point, if I sit in this one spot right here, I block all of the spawns, and I can hold middle, and I can hold right lane. But unfortunately, my teammates don't know about the rotations, so I'm kind of I'm kind of left alone. Um, we are only playing against a team of two, so I'm going to keep this rocking. All right, now all the enemies are going to be spawning in that back area that I talked about, but if I do push this middle area right over here, that will spawn the enemies out. I'm just going to have to really focus on rotations and winning... More than two gunfights, ideally. Bummer. All right. So right now, all these enemies are going to keep spawning over there. The next hard point, P4, is going to be down here in the bottom left. So with 25 seconds left, I'm already going to go for that rotation because these guys are going to be influenced to hit the left side. And ideally, I can get to this top window and hold them there before they push up. Now, a little cool thing about this map is that little hop up right there is um, really nasty to break the hard point. But I'm literally just going to keep control up here. There's the first enemy that I was talking about. I genuinely did not know that th there was a wall behind me right there. <laughs> I was going to leave that position and I was going to go down low and I got played. <laughs> All right. Good kills right here. Nice three dead. We should get the final kill right there on point. And right now we are still spawning up here. It's very hard to flip these spawns, but if I push this middle, if I push this middle right here, all these enemies are gonna be spawning a, a lot more left now. I should have a good flank here, but unfortunately they are picking up the flank. Good play on their part. 30 seconds left, and this is where we're gonna switch over to P5 now, and I'm gonna go ahead and camp over here for P5. And playing at this P5 over here, this is a really nasty spot where you can lay down, contest time, and basically, like, see the entire map. It's pretty solid. So we got two dead. Those two dead that we got, those two are going to be spawning over here, and they'll be pushing up over here where I'm looking. Of course, there they are. That's one. And I'm going to go ahead and just swim in the water now. Did anyone see Octave's stream last, last night? Oh, dude, yeah, he streamed for 24 hours. That was insane. And unfortunately, I'm not paying attention to my minimap right there. Tragic. All right, so all the enemies, they are now spawning up top over there. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and start locking in right now because we are not getting any of the kills we need. So it's like coming down to like us needing to get like three pieces and everything. I can't believe the guy in water did not die. Okay, there we go. Nice. Just playing my life. Eating these grenades, unfortunately. All right, so we have the second set of rotations. You do want to be spawning on the opposite side and flipping these next spawns are some of the hardest things you have to do because you really have to push from both angles because these enemies, these enemies right now are going to keep spawning down here. And now that I spawned right here, all the enemies are just going to be funneling middle and the right lane. So I'm going to try to go pick up this right lane now. Actually, I'm going to help my teammates and just like look over them with this high ground control. Nice. There we go. All four dead. I'm going to back up. Make sure we block these spawns because our teammate just spawned out. So because our teammate spawned out in the bottom left of the map, now I know these enemies potentially spawned over here. So I'm just like cleaning up these spawns right now. All right. And once again, my teammates are very pushed up right now. So I got to back up and make sure we're hard blocking these spawns. And based on where my teammate spawns, I'll know where the enemies are going to be. Okay, cool. The enemies are trying to push up the left lane, but I'm going to stay rotated for this new hard point right here. Guarantee these kills. Throw down a trophy. And then I'm going to pick up this right lane over here. And like I said, 4P2. If I sit in this one spot, I am anchoring and I am holding the right lane and I'm holding our full pinch. Let's see where our teammate is. Our teammate is AFK. How about that in a freaking match? <laughs> I'm just going to hold a pre-aim right here. And once we get a few kills, I'm going to turn around and aim behind me. So there, there's one. Oh, beautiful pre-fire from Neum. Unfortunately, he gets that two-piece. Really tragic. But we still have spawns, guaranteed. They're going to probably be pushing up middle since I heard that stun grenade. Guaranteed kill. And now we want to start flipping. So I'm going to start pushing this out. And all these enemies are still spawning right in front of me where I'm looking. And unfortunately, they're playing for me. But right there, maybe next time I can play my life a little bit longer. It's just by pushing up middle um, and then getting into their spawn in the top right over here. That's going to allow me to flip spawns. All right. Unfortunately, none of these enemies. Uh, if the enemies push this elbow, that would have spawn flipped us. But unfortunately, right now, they're just getting beautiful timings and they're keeping a spawn trap all the way back here. But with that two dead, they're already going to have two rotated. And this is where I said, for P3, all you really need to do is push up this middle map right here. They, they are going to be spawned up, so I know they're going to be looking for us. Oh, wow. What a good corner. Good left corner. That was a good crossfire by the opponents. So sitting in this corner and having your teammate sit in that corner, you guys can hold a very good crossfire, which is just lovely to look at. Awesome. We got two dead. And honestly, like... It's fine that we're not really soaking up this time because we can guarantee P4 and P5 for a lot of time. And right now, these enemies are actually going to be spawning right in front of me. I knew that these enemies were going to spawn there just based on their freaking, uh, just based on our teammates pushing too far. I knew that they were going to spawn there. And I'm happy that we spawned out because now we can rotate for new. But now we have the bad spawns for P3, which are not ideal. But maybe I can get behind someone, get a free kill. Okay, I'm going to break through this. I'm going to throw a trophy on time. And right here, this is the most important thing about this map. All my teammates are behind me, so all the enemies are spawning in front of me. Dang it, bro. So all the enemies are spawning right here, right now. Wow, you cannot wall bang that bottom right door. That is not good. They need to fix that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of just hit these guys head on. We can literally just spam nade this and usually we'd be good. We are not rushing. Got one. And like right there, we just got to like initiate. Like none of the enemies are hitting uh, or playing in the power position. So right there, we just need to like initiate and go. Uh, but here we are for new now. Got two dead. That's three dead. Based on that, all four dead. These enemies are still spawning back here right in front of me. So they're going to be pushing me. There's one. There's two. And there's going to be one more here. There he is. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he must have heard me or something. 
whatever all good we're gonna go ahead and try to push middle and hit a angle from the side and actually we have time to go for a full flank so i'm actually gonna go for that full flank i think i got a good timing against this guy and this kid is just built different just literally built different good for him good for him doesn't even peek the back <laughs> and just has full confidence And that's a GG's. All right. Well, first game playing some hard point on six star. Unfortunately, we don't get the win. This Neem guy, he just had perfect timings, always winning those exact gunfights when he needs to. It's a little bit questionable, but good for him. Get him a contract. And unfortunately on our team right here, it just looks like we didn't really understand how to basically set up on the map which that's where my discord comes into play uh starting next week in my tier two tier three we're going to be going over setups breaks um all for this one map right here and then of course for tier one we have spawns and then we also have timings um dang should have won that really really crappy right there what cdl team do you support ray i actually just support everyone just because um i've been in cdl excuse me <laughs> I've been watching Call of Duty for a very long time, and it's gotten to a point where I pretty much like and know everyone on every team, so I want to support every team. Uh, but when it's, you know, head on head, uh, like, you know, I guess phase versus optic, like, I will choose uh, a favorite uh, for that match. Uh, actually, like six star, same here, Detona. The P5 makes me want to drown in pool in game, right? <laughs> Otaku, love that. Thanks, bro. Nice, lock it in. The eights really helped me on this map, been doing well on it. Thank you, Vizen. I'm glad to hear that. That's another thing. Um, if you guys have a subscription to the Discord, every Saturday we try out the brand new maps. We also run eights just to help each other get better. Um, unfortunately, we're not doing it this Saturday, so <laughs> next Saturday will be the next one. Hey, hey, what's up? What's good, Jack? Yeah, crazy sub train for Octane. Yeah, I know, dude. Like, it was up to, like, what? Almost 4,000? What's good, Jack? Uh, howdy, howdy. What's good, Apollo? Hey, it's good to see you, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. He's legit. Niems is a Zuma guy? Really? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so just hearing that right there, he plays Zuma 8s nonstop, so of course he's going to be playing this perfectly. Good for him, then. GG's. You, Arv... And Hars are the best low-key ranked YouTubers. Thank you, Goku. I mean, we we try. We try our best. <laughs> uh, who would you favor, Phase versus Optic? Um, honestly, it would depend because low-key, like I really enjoy watching Phase win. Um, and I would like most of the time go for like a Phase to win a major. But when it comes to like World Champs, there's something special about you know seeing Optic win and being in that Grand Finals and. Uh, just seeing like optic and like the community come together in like a grand finals uh for obviously world series of wars or sorry not world series of warzone uh for the world championship um I, like that's what i would have to go through uh go for again like it's just it's just it, i can't choose a favorite at all <laughs> just because i literally grew up with everyone no uh i just love them you know what i mean kind of support everyone You, uh, you would have won if you didn't make the vid. You got a, you got killed every time you tried to explain. Yeah, well, Dave, I mean, there was just a few times where I just had really good, uh, really bad gunfights as well. Um, you are right, but that's the whole point of trying to film a vid, you know? It's, there's, there's a supply and demand. Uh, that's why, like, even when I'm live streaming, I'm never going 110% unless I force myself to. Can we join the Discord to find some people to play with? Absolutely, Taylor. Uh, you guys can do exclamation Discord in the chat and you guys will have access to that. Currently headed to Frisco for a competition, but always going to be here, brother. Gage, hey, best of luck um, in the competition. I hope you win and thanks for stopping by, man. Yo, what's up, Elias in chat? Hope you're all doing good. My bad I missed your live stream the other day. I wanted to say happy birthday from the other day, Elias. Thank you, RL. Yeah, I had a great birthday last Tuesday. Um, I appreciate you still stopping by and showing the love and support, man. Uh, sup Elias, what's good, Muhammad? Glad to see you. What's good, Jason? Glad to have you in here, man. Slammed. <laughs> I wish I slammed him. Hey, what's up, Elias? I played rank season three for the first time yesterday. I'm gold two, and I won my first five games, so I still got 60 SR each time. Uh, Nelson, it depends, like, how badly are you beating the enemy team, and based on how badly you're beating the enemy team, um... Oh my gosh, that guy ate so many bullets. 
Um, it really depends on like how badly are you beat the enemy team? How many kills are you getting? Um, are you performing well? Are you on top of the leaderboard? Are you on the bottom of the leaderboard? Those are all the important things. Oh, he ended up behind me. Dang, dude. Well, we're playing against another stack team of four, so this is going to be fun. Uh, yep, this is ranked play, guys. <laughs> playing against another team of four. How about that? These guys are using tack usage brilliantly. Bruh, dude, oh my gosh. And this is just solo queue, bro. Like, finally, we got some kills. Let's go. That's what we needed. These guys are going to start pushing the left lane, going for a flip. Thank you so much. Hey, Dave, with the 250. Next max go 110%. If I'm going 110% on this match right here, I'm not, like, talking at all. But, like, you have to understand that, like, we're probably going to lose this because we're playing against a stack team of four. And the stack team of four we're playing against are, like, really good. Like, they're challengers, basically. Yeah, dude. And again, so like no matter what, we're more than likely going to lose this because they're four stack. These guys are challengers players. These guys are trying to play this full time and make this a career. So, um, okay. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and anchor these spawns now. Hopefully. All right. A big two piece from the squadron. Damn, yeah, he played me. I was hoping he was weak. Oh, he's not even weak. That's tragic. Any tips on aiming? Good at the firing range, but as soon as I get in-game, it feels like I suck. Uh, yeah, you got to get more reps. Not in the firing range. You have to play either shipment 24-7, or you have to play, um... Or you have to play, like, a thousand bots and shoot a thousand bots a day. That's like really the only way you're going to get better. If you're shooting and practicing uh, in the firing range, those are not good gunfights at all. And when you're shooting the bots, if you do like a 360 before every kill, that always works as well. Damn, this kid broke my ankles. <laughs> I guess someone gave him a call out. That was good for him. I mean, yeah, good for him. All right, dude, this guy, why are you challenging the same? Okay, he's challenging the same angle as his teammate. Like, what is your thought process when playing? Why is this kid always knowing where I am, bro? Like... Oh my gosh, Rafi literally said, you know what, let me only kill Elias the entire time. <laughs> little, what a little bully. Ah, oh, no aim assist through the rails. That's why I'm saying next match, don't need to talk, let the gun do the talking. W in chat for Dave, Elias in the community is very unique because no other live streamer connects with their fans and make us feel appreciated, respected like Elias does. Well, I mean, like, you guys are, like, doing more uh, good for me than anything, you know what I mean? So... Like, I got to make sure I count my blessings every day. Like, like, one of the biggest things I'm scared about, guys, is I'm literally... So, like, from June to, like, end of May all the way through July, I'm literally not going to have... Um... Oh, dang it, dude. Uh, so, at the end of May all the way through July, I'm literally, like, not going to have any YouTube content for, like, a full month. And just because of that, like, I can instantly just, like, lose everything I have now. And, like, that's one thing that's, like, really scary, but I'm very thankful for because it feels like you guys will always be there uh, till the end, which I freaking appreciate and love. Uh, so that's why, again, like, I am so appreciative for you guys. I got to give you guys all the call outs and all the shout outs as much as possible. You're so bad, bro. <laughs> Our 
Hardpoint relocating. Stand by. Dang it, dude. Did he see my... Oh, he saw me lay down. Never lay down right there. He would not have saw me. This guy's gonna come right here. Red. Let's go, teammate. <clears throat> we will be there. Don't stress about it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Like the stream. Thank you, Ryan. Are you going to watch CDL today? I am, Rosa. We are going to watch CDL today. Absolutely. It's like this Rafi kid was like on his flow state, and then he said, all right, guys, I don't have any more dope, and he lost his flow state. Do you jump 360 when shooting the bots or just spin on the ground? I do both. I do both. Dude, oh my goodness. I thought he was so much more like further away or whatever. That sucks. And these guys are literally zoning us right now, bro. Like, <laughs> like we cannot like not get cut. Wow. Yeah, we cannot not get cut, dude. Like we're not getting any kills. We're not taking the map control when we do get the kills. It's so funny. Hey, shoot with the three piece though, dude. Literally out of nowhere, three piece. Where'd this guy go? There's one more guy on me. The omit guy? Not omit, jello. I knew he was there, bro. Good job to our teammate getting map control right there. That's actually a very good play by our teammate. A very good play. Oh, my stuns. I threw the wrong trophy right there. If I did not throw my trophy uh, early, like, we would have been fine. <clears throat> oh, yep. That's what I thought, too, from memory. That's huge. Currently, goal two. Uh, is there a CDL today? Yeah, there is CDL. I don't know who's playing, though. I don't have that on uh, by memory, unfortunately. <laughs> Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wait, we just flipped? Why? What? 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 Okay, he must have just, he, I mean, again, these guys are a four stack. They literally team scrim. They literally play challengers professionally. So all he did right there was just remember where I went. That's literally it. Oh my gosh, teammate, fill in a lane, bruh. Like, we're all literally just watching the same thing over and over again. And that's not how you play Call of Duty. I think he's getting married. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. So um, I'm literally moving, getting married, going on a honeymoon. Um, I obviously 
<laughs> literally those three things it's only three things but it takes a lot of time <laughs> a lot of time especially like the moving making sure everything's finalized making sure i have brand new internet internet that's reliable there's just a lot of things like i gotta make sure i have unlocked um but hey as far as solo queue today one hour into solo queue we slam our first game and then we run against a four stack against havoc or sorry not a four stack against havoc we run against a three stack against havoc three v four and then we run against a um, four stack on six star. And then we run against a four stack on this hard point right here. Tragic. But uh, welcome to the solo queue experience, man. It's uh, it's fun. I'm glad to have you guys along the road on the journey. Um, GTA, it's so cheese, though, because you're going to play the same maps. I don't know. <laughs> um, currently, Gold 2 started playing rank this season. Any tips about spawns when solo queuing? Currently on a losing streak. Yeah, Molly's. Uh, so... Um, <clears throat> we're already an hour into this. I might as well get into this right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys join my Discord in the description below, I'll go ahead and do exclamation Discord right now. Discord. There it is. Uh, so, right now, if you guys join my Discord in the description below, it's called Gamer's Pathway. In Gamer's Pathway, uh, we just updated the brand new spawns and all of the... Um, uh, for the new maps so if you guys get tier one it's ten dollars a month and for six star we already have the spawns and i'm gonna go through a few of these with you guys uh so specifically on that p1 like i was saying um if you're red team and you're trying to break the green spawns you need a teammate hitting the left lane and you need a teammate hitting the right lane to pinch spawns because if you only push right the enemies are gonna still spawn here if you only push left the enemies are gonna still spawn in the secondary down over here um now for green team, green team, if you push inside of this uh, red line right here and you push inside of this building, you're gonna flip spawns and now red team's gonna spawn behind you. And usually if red team is spawning behind you, you're spawning uh, here. If all primaries are blocked, that's when you get secondary spawns and you get parallel spawns uh, where you're gonna have one team spawning here and one team spawning here. Um, going over to P2 now, uh, if green team pushes red line, red team will spawn flip and uh it's pretty much the exact same scenario right here if green team pushes all the way over here gets inside of here you're gonna flip spawns and even in that game you guys saw me stood middle here the entire time and these enemies kept spawning on our right um and this is where i was saying once again if you want to guarantee these green spawns you either need an anchor playing right here or an anchor playing right here to guarantee those green spawns if you don't have a player playing here or here you're gonna flip spawns and it's just gonna be very unpredictable um, we also have these spawns for Vista over here as well, if you guys want to check that out. Uh, Vista spawns are honestly a lot more uh, simpler, so that's why people are able to drop like 30, 40 kills a game. Um, not only do we have spawns, but eventually next week we're going to update some timings where I tell you how long does it take a player to get from point A to point B, point A to point C, point A to point D. Um, and then, of course, if anyone else would like to do a uh, hard point tier two, um, all of tier two is going over setups and breaks and where you can expect enemies to be sitting. Uh, so talking about this Karachi, if you're playing good side on Karachi, you're going to want a submachine gun player to control the entire red side. You're going to want an AR holding top uh, red and playing the left side with your SMG. You're obviously going to want SMG player playing inside of time. He has a bunch of routes he could take. Um, and then your AR player is going to always want to try to maintain that top third. Now, obviously... If you're red team, you can expect players to be playing in these spots, right? Um, and of course, we also have breaks just to go down on those breaks. Um, breaks really require a lot more coordination, and that's why you never want to be a breaking team. Uh, so once again, same spots where you should go to break, how to play it as a team. And then last but not least, um, tier three. Tier three is just literally breaking down pro gameplay. Um, so a good example is like professional break offs. Like we have the Ravens and Thieves. Um, so Royal Ravens, they do a break off. I break down the break off and then I have the break off right here where I show Clayster or sorry, uh, I show that, well, this is old. Let me, let me do a, a different one. Let me actually do optic. <laughs> so again, I do the optic break off right here. I don't know why that just happened. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. There we go. It's fixed. Uh, so I break it down again. How does Optic do their break off? And then right here, I show you. Kenny sits right here, looks over Shotzi. Shotzi plays off of Kenny's contact. Pred, he waits for the grenades, and then he pushes up middle. And then Dashi's looking you, waiting for the cut. And uh, once the, we get the kills, Kenny pushes up top bridge. Shotzi pushes over here at the bench, preems the left. 
and then um, either AG or Dashu will push up and soak up time and hold the right lane over here as well. Uh, so that's all tier one, tier two, tier three. I have it for hard point, S and D control. Um, that's just a really good place to learn the spawns and everything. I just wanted to show you guys this uh, again, tier one, 10 bucks a month, tier two, 20 bucks a month, tier three, 30 bucks a month. Um, you also get access to our classes and in our classes every Saturday, not this Saturday, sorry, but every Saturday we run discord eights. And then we also review those eights that we played to help you guys get better. So really, really good deal. Um, just really just trying to put this out there. Just let you guys know about it. I have all the content there for you guys. It's it's this is how pro players play Call of Duty. They do all of this planning, right? And now you just memorize it, learn it, apply it. You guys are going to be called hackers all the time. I can guarantee it, bro. I can guarantee it. I've been doing this full time for three years. Um, so sorry for going on a rant, but I just wanted to share that, man. Uh, Noel, love your content, man. Thank you so much, Noel. Or Noel, sorry, bro. I don't know why I said Noel. Uh, Noel, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate the $10 super chat. Yo, everyone's W's in chat for Noel, please. Uh, so Six Star and Vista are here for good. Yeah, they're here for good, Noel. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the Discord truly is clutch. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, GTA, any cheat is cheese. Don't matter what it is. Even camo unlockers are getting banned now. Exactly, bro. Even people using VPNs are getting banned. Even people who are spam reporting players or like going AFK to like better their KD, they're getting banned for cheating as well. It's pretty interesting. I feel like I'm in class again. Good frog. Yeah, I mean, it, people in chat, like if you guys have any questions or if you guys need any vouchers, we have people in chat that uh, show up to our classes every week and we talk about everything. Uh, no, the wedding is not being streamed. Unfortunately not. I am, I am not there yet. <laughs> I am not there yet where I can have a full production team and everything. Um, but thank you everyone for letting me go over my Discord right there just because um, I, I tell people how to learn spawns on your own and I can tell you all the spawn logic and how to create spawns on your own, but I, I created this for a reason so you guys don't have to do that work. You know what I mean? Um, so... I hope that helps you guys moving forward, and uh, let's keep playing these matches until the CDL starts. W no, yeah, W. <sighs> I gotta figure out how to like turn that into a actual like <laughs> good video. You know what I mean? Uh, just because I truthfully feel like when I look at YouTube. A lot of the, I guess, a lot of the content that is given out is very repetitive, and I just feel like I can do something so much better. It's just I don't know how to turn that into a video, you know what I mean? Uh, or a good title or a thumbnail, but I'm working on it every day. Every day we're working on it, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to change the world, trying to help you guys get better in COD and out of COD as well. Uh, thank you so much for the subs. Oh my gosh, Lo, let's go. Leo with the five USD. Sorry, watch last stream back. You'll get next challenge. Thank you so much, Leo. I appreciate you. Uh, yo, W's in chat for Leo as well. Not only Noel, uh, Noel. Dude, Noel, why do I keep saying that? I gotta fix it, man. I, I gotta fix it, bro. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it done. Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, hope everything's good. Off work today so I can finally, finally catch the stream. Hey, JM, bro. It's been a minute, dude. It's so good to have you back in chat. And uh, congrats on having the day off, man. I hope it goes good. Thank you for explaining the spawns. Always enjoy watching your content. Thank you, Malzi. Um, I try my best. And as, as always, if you guys have any questions, message me as much as you guys like. And I'm always happy to reply. Um, Let's see here. Elias, what are your thoughts on someone being really good at S and D only so they uh only so they use a cheat only to force start ranked S and D? My boy does this and I can't seem to tell if it's wrong and if I can play with him. Uh yeah, so that is cheating GTA. Just don't do it. He will eventually get his account banned and potentially if you're doing it as well or they know that you're partied up with him, you could get your account banned as well. Uh it's just a matter of time until it does get banned. All right. Uh, yeah, smurfing is happening a lot, and it's annoying. It is. It is. Even smurfs are getting banned, thankfully. Versus departures, I wanted them to bring it back instead of sub base, personally. Unfortunately, none of the pro players liked departures at all, so we are not playing departures. All right. So just because I pushed over here on the left lane, um, now the enemies... We're, we flip spawns, basically. <laughs> 
All right, welcome to Six Star Hardpoint. First time playing this map right here, ending up behind these guys. We're gonna have P2 popping up shortly. That's three dead base. Oh my goodness, okay. Three dead, with those three dead, these guys are gonna be spawning over here. Hopefully we have good spawns for new. Because I did spawn right here, there potentially could be one or two people spawning over there, but no matter what, guaranteed, the enemies are spawning top right and they're already gonna be rotating. So I am gonna be pushing up. I'm already gonna be expecting one enemy over here already. There's the one enemy that I was talking about. He backed up. Thankfully, I got that kill. And unfortunately, we did flip spawns, it looked like. Okay, I'm just trying to play my life right now. Easy three. All right, so we're going to still have these spawns for P2, which are going to be up here. And the enemies are going to be spawning over here for P2. Um, unfortunately, we flipped spawn, so all that means is all the enemies are spawning over here now. And if I push up this middle, I could probably look for a cut. Yep, there's one. I should have shot that guy, but I didn't. And I just realized me and my teammate are in the same spot. Nice. Three dead. These enemies are still spawning up here because we are not hard blocking. So all the enemies are still spawning here, and they're going to be rotating the right to P3. All right, so right now we want to go for a rotation. P3's top right side of the map. If you play where our teammate is playing, that is the anchor for those spawns. And just because we already have a full rotation for new, I'm actually going to keep this map control and hold all of middle. Nice. And now that we got that kill, I'm going to back up and make sure I anchor these spawns. And now all these enemies, they're going to be spawning over here the entire time. And because I'm hard blocking, my enemy can cut them off the entire time. And that's why I'm going to sit right here. It looks like I'm not doing anything, but I'm actually doing a lot. My teammate just died. My teammate will spawn up behind me, but actually quick hits a very long route. And he's actually going to flip spawns. And right now these enemies are spawning middle if they were dying and spawning up. But none of them are dead yet. Nice two dead, nice three dead. With that three dead, they are still going to be spawning in the back. There's one, two, and last two are on time, but P4 is going to be over here in the bottom left of the map, so I'm going to go for that rotation now with 10 seconds left. And although I could have cut right there and played with my team, I'm actually going to take a longer route just because I figured one guy spawned here. If you guys remember on that P3, if you spawn middle, that means the enemies are spawning right next to you. All right, now for P4, now that my teammates are spawning on the top right side of the map, these enemies are basically only going to be spawning middle and in front of us. This is a little cheeky angle that a lot of people play. Just got to always look out for that. And with that three dead, again, these enemies are now spawning right here middle because our teammate is pushed up left. They're all spawning here middle. Okay, because my teammate just spawned right there, now all the enemies are spawning up here because our teammate flipped. So there should be a guy here. Yep. Should be another guy because that's two dead. Yep, there's the other guy. Unfortunately, I got a bad timing against him, but 20 seconds, we're going to rotate for P5, which is going to be the pool hill over here. Stun the guy middle. And I'll go ahead and just soak up time right here. Just sit in the water, get a full 60, and I'm going to be calling out where these spawns are. So right now, two players just died. We're going to spawn back here. Oh, never mind. So the enemies are spawning back here since we spawned back here. So this enemy should be hitting the left. There's the enemy that I was talking about. We got that kill. And they're going to keep spawning over here on the left. And they're going to keep pushing this left. Um, okay, <laughs> so if you use your pistol underwater, you can absolutely kill the enemies. It's just right there. I started lagging a little bit. This guy should be pushing my right. Okay, he's going back left. Easy, bro. Dude, dude, Call of Duty is way too easy, easy nowadays. All those enemies are going to be spawning up here now. They're still spawning over here, and they're going to keep pushing this left side. Unless they're going for a rotation, which... Dude, trying to have aim assist in this water is actually really hard. Oh, no. Last enemy killed me. But now we're flipping 4P1. And if we are spawning bad side, okay, we're spawning bad side 4P1. We actually want to flip spawn. So I'm going to go all the way over here. These enemies are going to still spawn here. But once I wrap the entire spawn, we're going to eventually flip. My teammates honestly should be spawning next to me. And look at that. The enemies gave up their spawn. And because of that, we flip easily. And now all the enemies are spawning right here middle. And they're going to be pushing out right there. Going to be pushing right here. 
and right lane. Okay, if you guys remember, do not push that. Do never go to that door. If you push that door, you are flipping spawns. Oh my, three players. All right, with 20 seconds left, that's three dead. Our teammate pushed that, so I'm a little worried that we're gonna flip a little bit, but we're gonna see where our teammate spawns. Okay, we did not flip, but the enemy is pushed up on the right lane. All right, because we're spawning down here, there's a potential that the enemies did get a parallel spawn on P2, so we very well can already have a guy here early. And there, there's the guy early, but I got some damage down, so we should be able to get that trade. And all these enemies right now are gonna be spawning right there, which if our teammate knew that, he would've been able to pick up those kills. All right, one of these guys will go middle, more than likely. All right, so Keegan just died. Keegan's gonna be spawning on my left. I'm gonna play for this kill right here. So Keegan's gonna be pushing right here. I should have had a rival nine. If I had a rival nine, I win that. That is crazy, bro. All right, I gotta start locking it in right here. Hit this route right here. That guy has a beautiful pre-fire. Good shots on his part. All right, 20 seconds left, two dead. This is where these those two guys are spawning up over here and they're already gonna be rotated. So now I'm pushing this left side and I'm gonna have to work a two piece right here. Dang it, bro. We had the rotation right there. It's just this guy literally has the... Hmm. Good shots. Good shots. All right, sweet. We got good spawns. And whenever you're playing P3, you literally just want to sit where I'm sitting right now. You're hard blocking. All these enemies are spawning middle. All of them are literally spawning middle right now. So teammate there, I'm here. All of them spawn middle right there. And now they're all uh, spawning on the left side of the lane. I'm literally just holding this middle just to guarantee these kills. That's three dead. I'm going to push out now because we want to flip. And these guys are all spawning right here. I'm going to have three players pushing right here. One. Two. Last guy is right here. I'm going to push him. Nice. That's all four. And those guys are spawning there again. And hopefully... Or actually, we just flipped. So thankfully, our teammate gave up the spawn. And we flipped. Three of those guys just flipped. We're going to have new spawns for P4 now. And just like that, we now have new spawns for P4. All those enemies are still spawning in the back over here, and they have a long way to go. I'm going to go ahead and get to this power position for my teammate. Throw a trophy on time for him. Good team shots. These guys are going to try to push up middle or something like that. And once again, right now, these guys are all spawning in front of us and middle. Because our teammate is middle right now, that teammate pushed middle, he's blocking, and these enemies just spawn behind us. At least one of these guys spawned behind us. And there he is. There's the guy that spawned behind us. Again, I read it, but unfortunately, I do not have a rival nine. 30 seconds left. Um, we honestly don't want to hit this. We do want to rotate, but I'm actually going to push up and hold map control for new now. And by the way, I'm holding map control. So that enemy I just killed, he's still spawning here. The enemy I literally just killed is still spawning here and he should be pushing for me. He should be playing for me. Okay, I don't see him. Maybe he's here. Okay, I don't see him. Oh, look at that timing. I got terrible Call of Duty timing right there from Richie. Once again, this Richie guy literally is just killing me just because he gets perfect timings. Very, very lucky player right there to say the least. All right, with that two dead, um, these enemies are all spawning over here now. Just gonna watch my middle for my teammates. Make sure I give them the support they need. Good kills. Watch the middle for my teammates. Fortunately, no kill right there. That guy's gonna go for a flank, so I'm gonna go pick up our flank. <laughs> I don't know how I'm not winning some of these gunfights, bro. Whoa? Whoa? All right. Oh, that's a good spot. Nice hit fires. Good for him. All right, 10 seconds left. We're headed towards P1. Like I said, I want to flip spawns for P1 because more than likely this will go towards a P2. So by me pushing this right lane, I'm actually going to be running in front of two enemies right now. So again, this Richie guy, literally perfect. Literally perfect. Zero reason to pre-aim that, but hey, man, he's on one. He's on one. You got to give him... You got to give, uh, what is it called? 
All right, we're going to make sure we have to just play for a break right here. Beautiful grenade kill. I'm going to push up the left with my teammate. Pre-aim this. Easy. Pre-aim this again. They're going to keep pushing right in front of me. Oh, I ran out of ammo, dude. All right, as long as we maintain this left side of the map, we will win this game, and that should be a GG shortly. Again, all we have to do is literally maintain this left side of the map, and we're going to be fine. Oh, my gosh, bruh. Ah, dude, he's just on one. Literally just going to camp, hold a pre-aim, play for the dub, and that's a GG's. And that's how you play six-star hardpoint. All right, I'm gonna upload that as a video just because it was close. I can't believe I was getting outgunned by that Richie kid. Why is the rival nine so overpowered? Oh, and that was against a team of four. And we did that against a team of four. You know how it is, let's go. Hi, how are you? What's good, Lucy? Good to have you in here, glad to have you. Ooh, GTA, sorry I missed, sorry I missed. Oh my gosh! GTA, I please, bro, I, I, I'm I sorry, I am sorry. $50 super chat from GTA. Okay, thanks for the input, dude. I am sweating right now. I literally, I, GTA, if you need to refund it, I get it, man. I was literally locking in for a video right there and I am so embarrassed, bro. I am so embarrassed. Dude, GTA, are you still in here? I love you, man. Thank you so much. Freaking W in chat. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. That is insane. Wow, GG's. He doesn't even notice yet. I know, I'm the worst streamer ever. I'm literally the worst streamer ever, and literally, we were just getting done on everyone hyping me up. He doesn't even notice yet. Damn smart. What rank are you right now? I'm uh, currently Crim3 Vex. Yo, Elias, are you going to get on Warzone later? Uh, Lenny, uh, in, later in the season? I, absolutely, I will. Uh, do it like we do it on the Discovery Channel. Do it like we do it on the Discovery. Yep, you know what, Hugo. What's good? What's good? Um, just came by to say hi. Bob, thank you so much for saying hi. Hi to you. I hope you're doing good. Hear me out. Oh, Richie is mad sus, to be honest. Uh, WGTA. It's amazing how you can predict where they're going to spawn and come from. Exactly, Nelson. It's just reading that kill feed in the minimap. That's how you should be playing Call of Duty is only through the kill feed in minimap. Um, it's amazing how you can predict. Uh, Richie has great gaming chair. Exactly, Muhammad. Richie must be subscribed to Elias and in the Discord to understand spawns and timings. That's what I'm saying, Otaku. I'm just I'm just creating my biggest uh, villain or whatever, right? Uh, uh, nah, it's good. Gotta be uh, on the grind. Dude, GTA, I just hate it, bro, because normally I'm always like, I'm always paying attention to that. I'm getting hyped up and I let you down, bro. I let you down. Nah, man. Thank you so much, GTA. I freaking appreciate that. Um, as always, if you ever need anything, please let me know and I got you, bro. Um, we didn't get any SR for that win, did we? No, I think we did. I think I was at 91.20. And then I got SR for that game, but <laughs> that'd be funny if I didn't get SR for it, right? Oh, man. Whew. Let's go, dude. All right. We are 40 minutes away from the CDL starting, so we're going to try to get a few more games in, and uh, we're going to enjoy the session for today. Enjoy the matches for the day. Ah, oh, wow. Best freaking chat around you guys are literally the best man can't freaking stress it enough ah <sighs> dude so many super chats today um oh i didn't even i didn't even go live with my short yet i didn't even i didn't even do the other things i was supposed to do just because i'm in the moment right now Whew. all right i just went public with a brand new short it's not as big as the last short but hopefully it's a good one and uh let me make sure I also post my membership if any of you guys would like to join. I got to figure out a way to like uh, keep track of donos as well. Like I actually got to like figure out something to do. Um, train three of your subscribers for top 250 next season. Got to be the first to do it. Oh, dude, that'd be insane. Imagine like me being on a bronze account, getting three other bronze accounts and we just four stack all the way up to iridescent. Not top 250. Top 250 would be too hard, especially if, like, we're all, like, brand new players. 
living in the moment yeah yes bro yes yeah you got sr thank you jordan uh, i love cod but because of my job i can only be a casual player it would be impossible to get to your level ah uh, dude nelson that's again it's all about the quality work that you do it's never about the quantity um Sorry. So what I'm trying to say is, is if you have, if you only have like three hours, five days of the week, those three hours, you wouldn't want to just sit there and just play Call of Duty, right? You would want to play Call of Duty for two of those hours. And then for one hour, you review the gameplay and then you figure out where are the spawns, where are the timings? What do I need to do better? And you rewatch your gameplay for that hour. And that will help you get better. Um, but of course you're right, man. Like, Unfortunately, we got some responsibilities and we're limited to the things we can do, but I always want to try to help as much as possible. So let me know if you have any questions, Nelson, and I'm always happy to help. Coach a team to top 250 like Zuma does would be a fun series, not going to lie. I got to I gotta research and like see how Zuma does it then so I can make sure it flows smoothly. Uh, just because, again, like I never planned to ever become a streamer. It just kind of like happened by accident and... Uh, I'm, I'm just right now like learning a bunch of new things and just trying to be the best I possibly can for you guys. Dude, this thing is in my ear and it's so annoying. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Fatal? Thank you so much for stopping by. Supposed to try out with the current rank. Uh, that'd be fun. Oh, that'd be fun, Leo. That's a good point. That's a good point. Bro, I would pay to be in that three stack if you got to train, uh, train to Eerie. Right, right? Activision has to sponsor you. Every time I start watching your stream, I'm hyped to get into a ranked play. Keep up the grind, brother. Yo, Hugo, thank you so much. That means a lot, and I wish I could get sponsored by Activision. Um, I'm definitely going to have to like just send emails out to people and see if I can get things rocking and rolling. Um, again, like, again, like me being brand new to this, I'm learning that you have to go out on your own and sell yourself to the sponsorships and sell yourself to the partnerships, right? Um, of course, you could just wait and eventually someone will come along and be like, hey, we wanna pay you for this. Uh, but for like brands and like wanting to get sponsorships and all of that, you have to do it all on your own. And that's something I recently just learned. And uh, right now I'm just like working out, you know, a good cold email and just figuring out how to get this done and over with. Um, because I'd love to be uh, sponsored by um, Activision, absolutely. Zuma's range moments is top quality too. Dude, yeah, I was watching uh, Zuma play with Octane yesterday in the eights and just, he literally couldn't get a kill. He was just saying like, bro, I'm on 60 ping, can't get a kill. And he literally just like raged. It's, I'm sure it's all just good fun and just there for entertainment. It's really funny. Uh, a sub eights tournament with other content creators would be fire. The Zuma versus Dashi sub eights were comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've also seen that like Kason is trying to do sub eights against like uh, Dashi. Um, who else is trying to do it? Uh, Octane still does it. I would love to do that, Otaku. Um, I don't know. Again, like maybe if I just talk to the right people, we can do that, right? Have Dashi set up a team, Skump set up a team, uh, Zuma set up a team, Octane set up a team, I set up a team, and Arv sets up a team. And boom, you have six different coaches right there, six different communities, and you run the tournament. Um, obviously, you would want to get more communities. So like obviously two more, if not... Um, if not six more, I, I think that's a really good idea. Like the video, guys. Thank you, Leo. Yes, yes. If you guys really want to uh, help me out, uh, please feel free to leave a like on the video. It does push it out. Uh, last live stream, we got over 120 likes on the video. You guys went insane. And that literally boosted my um, algorithm out a lot. So thank you, guys. All right, sweet. We've done enough losing where now we are playing against Platts. Great. <laughs> Literally <laughs> trying to get into Eerie and we're playing against Platts. I've improved a lot since watching you. Dude, Nelson, thank you, man. Yeah, true. Every time I watch your videos, I automatically need to play ranked right after. Holy crap, bro. Yeah, I got to tell Activision. What's up? You're the best coach. Me and my boys love watching your stream. Dude, thank you so much, Wick. Um, yesterday's session was so fun, bro. I uh, hope the games are good for you. Oh, love it. Slammed. These guys are going to spawn up and push me right here. Um, would love to have that one day. I know, dude. Imagine. All right. These guys did not push me. That's interesting. Oh, shoot. Oh, big win. Oh, 
Why is that guy trying to trick shot me? No, I lost my gunfight, but that's all four dead, and I got a freaking instant four stack, easy round, cruise missile. I popped off right there. Our teammate's spawning them super close to the spawn. That's the worst thing that we could have happen. Why are we not? Okay, I should have stacked the point right there, but like our teammates are holding pre-aims that I'm already holding. Like this game should have been over a second ago, but our teammates don't know how to get map control. <laughs> that game, that round literally should have ended literally like 50, I don't know, 50 kills early. Can you upload that six star video like today? I got to share it with my team before tonight's session. Bryant, yeah. Um, oh, dude, I'll, I'll try. To, yeah, I'll try to upload that today, but I don't think I will be able to. But I'm going to try, Bryant. Uh, would be so fun. It would. It would. Drew Dat, how do you make gunfights so easy? Plat players look so easy. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's just because, um, again, I hate trying to give advice and like talk about like the tendencies of other players uh, because usually it comes out rude, but like literally. Oh my gosh, this guy's moving. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, I shot a different guy. No wonder I died. I got slammed. All right, we are actually gonna lose this now. Um, but I was just gonna say that like, you know, usually certain ranks have certain tendencies that they lack in. Real, okay, all right, well. <laughs> what I wanted to do in the last round, the enemy team just did to us. Like we just got completely slammed. Oh, great. This is gonna be, I thought this was gonna be an easy game. And now it's turning out this is going to be a hard game. This is going to be one of those games where whoever gets offense ends up winning the round. Watching from the TV, but grab my phone to leave a like. Let's crap on these plats. Yo, you know it, Daniel. Man, thank you so much for the like. Thank you for keeping the stream up on the background. I freaking appreciate that. When is the next PS4 versus Xbox 8? Glock. Dude, that is such a good series that I ran. Um, I'm going to have to just like... I don't know. So I'm like always trying to do segments that are good and like that segment takes too long and unfortunately there's not like that big of a payoff, right? Nice two. Okay, those two that we just killed are going to hopefully Wait, oh cool. Okay, bet. No, bro. How are we getting ran down right now? I gotta look at my mini map right there. Of course, good play, good play from I Heart Shot. What are the tendencies for each rank? Um, that's a that's that's a big question. That is a big question to answer. Oh my gosh, my own teammate scared me. Uh, so, like, right now, like, playing against these plats and diamonds right now, they don't, like, know how to take map control. And, like, they, ha they like, lack confidence in taking that map control, if that makes sense. Dude, of course. That's a good play. Um, but yeah, like this map right here, uh, the people on our team right now, like we don't know how to take map control from looking at the kill feed in the mini map. So our pacing is really off. And then for the enemy team, uh, they're just really predictable right now. I suck with the rival nine. I can't get a kill with the rival nine anymore, bro. Literally, I was popping off, slamming everyone, and now I'm getting slammed.
Dang, I thought that guy was going to go through the doors, hopefully. No, I knew that guy was going to be up there. I just... Ah, oh, man. All right. All right, there we go. We're getting the kills now. Oh, big kill from my teammate right there. That's a big kill. No, dude. All right. Yeah, one shot to do this. Dang, I had seven bullets. I wanted to get that headshot. It just did not work for me right there. Oh, 2v5. They could do this. They could do this 2v5. Yeah, they're... Oh, I thought he was going to win that. All right. Easy two-piece right here. Boom. He's going to kill the guy on time. He had to get that two-piece on time, and then he would have killed the guy. So right there, if he guarantees that two-piece on time... There was going to be an enemy top AC and more than likely an enemy over here at red. And then those two enemies that he just killed would be spawning over here. So then he would want to play the pinch and just play the timings to kill these two guys over here. And uh, I mean, it's not easy, but. Oh, all right, let's lock it in. We, we got to at least win this defense. I at least have a cruise missile. Has attacking on Karachi been easier? feel like attacking rounds are easier now. It's easier now because people understand how easy it is. <laughs> I'd say anyone plat and above can shoot. It's really just routes, predictability, patience, and everything. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yo, Nelson with the $10 super chat. Much love, Nelson. Freaking appreciate it. Yo, W's in chat for Nelson, please. Hopefully this guy's going top. Yep. Watch this. Aw, oh, dude. That sucks. <laughs> so right there, I figured that they were going to be on the left head glitch. They were not on that left head glitch, but they are going to push right here. This guy should be pushing up middle. Oh, they're not pushing up middle. They're just running. No, I didn't know I was going to die that fast. W Nelson, W Nelson. Yeah, dude, that was insane. Do you see the three body problem on Netflix? No, Lenny, I have not, but I hear everyone talking about it. Is it, is it like a must you have to check it out or what? All four players are right there. Dang. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, these diamond players, they're playing really well, but now that we finally get four dead, they're panicking and they're doing like the most predictable things. And that's why, like, right now, I'm getting caught off guard because I'm like, okay, you know, they were doing this. Now they're doing this. And, like, right here, they should be going middle. They should be hitting right lane. But instead, twice, three times in a row, they just literally hit uh, the hard point head on. I'm in! 
I'm literally in the hard point. No. <laughs> yeah, again, like right there, like my team really had no clue how to really take map control. So that was really tough. Um, all good. All good. Dang, dude. I literally genuinely thought we we're going to win that. And then right here, I was like, cool. I broke that guy's camera. It even made the contest sound, but they still got the win. So good job to them. FaZe is going to play on 6-star and Vista. Excited for how the pros play it. Exactly. Same here, dude. That's why I was like, you know what? Unfortunately, we are not going to go for, you know, like, Iridescent today or, like, really grind ranked play. Just because I want to see these brand new maps and see how they play out uh, with the pro players. This is going to be a shit show? I don't think so, bro. I think, like, for the first time in a long time, we're going to have, like, probably the most entertaining Call of Duty matches ever, bro. Obviously, these are brand new maps that people are getting brand new practice on. And, um, dude, <laughs> it's just going to be fun because the maps that are designed, they're designed to get a crap ton of kills. It's going to be so fun. W. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I just realized that you put a sticker, Nelson. I di I didn't realize that. That is so funny. I know it's a gaming chair, but is that a dinosaur? What is that? And of course, GTA. Look at you, man, being on top of the super chat, man. I freaking appreciate that. I think that's like the best part about live streaming is just seeing uh, just the people supporting us on top. Um, I don't know how to keep the super chats up as long as possible, though. Like, I don't have any settings to control that. I don't know what determines that. Faze is going to play on six star. Vista, okay, I read that. Yeah, sorry, I tuned in for a second. But yes, the three botting problem is really good. Definitely worth your time. All right, I'm going to have to check that out then. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things so far, so can't wait. Oh, no, we're playing against Richie again. Wait, we. this is a team of four. Yeah. Bro, we played against this team of four on six star, slammed them. Now we got to play them on this Vista and slam them again. Hey, what's up? We're going to have a watch party? You know it. 20 minutes. We're going to pull up the matches. Uh, how was it that departures had to be tested, but six star just came out and it's in like that? Well, uh, six star got tested out the exact same time as departures did. So after major two, that's when the pros played um, the brand new uh, maps and six star was already out by the time. So they just sat there and said, yeah, six star is way better. Um, the whole reason why they put the competitive matches in ranked play like departures and Vista. I don't understand that too much. <laughs> P3 and P4 split spawns, I believe, like sub base P3, but Vista HP is still 10 times better than Invasion. Oh, 100%, bro. All right, no one likes playing that anymore. Slammed. Push. Oh, slam. That's all four. They're all spawning right in front of me. I'm about to get a nice four piece right here. One, two, throw a stun, pop a reload. Stand back up, help my teammate. They went right lane. I'm going to hold my teammates right while he holds left. Hold ring right, dead. We're missing Michonne on the right, though. Where'd she go? These guys are still spawning here. Wait, actually, we may flip because our teammate pushed up into Narnia for no reason. So these enemies may actually be spawning behind me right now. Yep, they did. Look at that Reed, bro. And how did Reed... Richie has... Dude, Richie has to be cheating. Richie has to be cheating, bro. Like, obviously... I'm just messing around. I don't know. I give everyone benefit of the doubt, but like this is the second game I'm playing against him where he just so happens to have like the perfect timing. Ah, oh, good push. Elias, what's good, Hawk? Let's start this GoFund for your equipment. Oh, dude, I got to do that then. Heck yeah, because I really need a brand new PC and everything. Holding mid from time. Oh, well, let's just slow down, wait for each other. Um, okay, that was a bad challenge on my part. I wanted to just throw a shoulder right there, but I, I screwed up really bad. Okay, I just pushed middle. We'll watch this. We'll watch this, Richie. Terrible Call of Duty player, bro. Literally has no clue how to play Call of Duty. That is the worst centering I have ever seen, bro. He is literally a bot for that. 
again, I'm just putting a lot of hate on my mans. He's probably just really good, and I'm just hating for no reason. It's just his gameplay genuinely makes zero sense. This Call of Duty is such a fucking joke, dude. I'm tired of playing this low skilled ass fucking dog shit, sorry ass fucking game every fucking day. Then why are you playing it? There's I... never gonna be a good Call of Duty that actually takes fucking skill. Bro, can you shut the fuck up? No, bitch, you shut the fuck up. What the oh, hell? Shut up, you stupid bitch. This is so low key, bro. Dude, this kid is such a low life. What the hell? Uh, what the fuck? You're bitching about a video game. Yeah, oh my gosh. Fuck you gonna do about it? What? Dude, this is solo queue, bro. We're playing against non-stop four stacks, and whenever I do get teammates, our teammates just have no clue how to play, man. Like, look, I have oh okay, bro. I'm gonna try my best to win this, because obviously I don't wanna lose, but like. This is just solo queue, bro. It's literally just solo queue, man. <laughs> Alright, we can win this. I guess I just gotta sit on the hard point. I'm back. Ah, damn. Amazing awareness, that guy. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's just he's just built different. It's just it, it doesn't make sense how his centering is probably the worst you've ever seen it. Yet he's playing it like mid, like he has walls. You know what I mean? He's just a good player, though. No hate. Slammed. And none of my teammates want to rotate. This is just insane. <laughs> Alright, heck yeah. This is where we can get a nice spawn trap going. We're gonna get go ahead and flip these spawns. These guys are spawning over here. Loki might have flipped again. Okay, no, we didn't flip. Oh, that guy juked me out. Damn. Oh yeah, he saw me. <laughs> All right, 20 seconds, changing this over to P1. I was trying to hold that P1 control for new because you really want to hold P1 for new. Hopefully this route works. Bruh, why are you playing like that? You make no sense. Hey, he must have heard me right there. Yeah, like, R Richie probably just has like really good audio. These guys are going to be pushing up middle right here, so I'm going to pop a reload. Good nade. One shot made, one bullet. Literally a loser, stair, stair glitching. Oh, I thought I killed that guy. His head literally disappeared. I was like, yeah, I blew his head off. This is 50% of rank lobbies. Draco, it's, it's, oh man, it's terrible playing these. It is terrible. Oh, I got slammed. That's not a good slam right there on my part. Hey, big slam by our teammate though. All right, our team is finally like picking it up a little bit. They're not like bitching at each other. So like we have a high chance of winning now. Oh, I got slammed. Took too long to collapse on those guys, but I'm gonna push the, out the right with my teammate and try to go for a flip. Ah, oh, that's tragic. Big win. A hey, good flip. All because the enemies didn't play for an anchor. We got a nice good flip right here. I'm loving this. This guy might push down here. One shot old. 
Oh no. Yeah, I just really wasn't confident with where these enemies were going, so I kind of played that terrible. Slammed. Hey, three dead. Soak up all that time now. Let's go. They're all going to be hitting the left. Oh my gosh, that Rival 9 is so good. I don't think I need to pull out a Rival 9 for the rest of the map, but like if I'm playing the hard point, like I feel like I need it. This is a really good angle. Call me dashy, soaking up all this time. Damn, I looked at my mini map right as he pushed. Bro, I was pre-aiming that. I knew they were going to do that. I just got a bad timing. That sucks. All right. Sorry for... Sorry for... Uh, no. Damn. Pulling out the mics when he wants to trash talk instead of giving comms. I hate players like that, dude. And, like, did you hear, like... like you know what? It's just... It's just... He needs some help, man. That's all I can say. Bruh, I'm the guy middle. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna Come save on. it. Don't flip. Why does why does my team want to like keep flipping, bro? Well, this is literally the third time my PC has crashed ever since the new update. And it's interesting because the new update obviously has me like scanning and pairing a lot, but like out of nowhere, like for whatever reason, now my uh PC literally just goes black and just blue screen done refreshes back up. So sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, my PC crash. PC crashed. Rest in peace. Ah, <sighs> well, that sucks, because, uh, I was pretty confident that we we're going to win that. Um, again, playing against that stack team of four, terrible players. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but, like, dang, dude, I wish we didn't, uh, crash right there, but... The CDL is going to start right now, so we're going to go ahead and just transition into the, um, watch party right now. Uh, again, really, really freaking apologize about that, guys. That is almost never expected. Almost never expected. Uh, but we're about to load into our very first match right now. Go fund me for a new PC. I'm going to have to, Hawk. <laughs> yeah, mine been doing the same thing since the update. Dude, luck. It's just Call of Duty, man. They, uh, they're always trying to hurt me, man. They're always trying to hurt me. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this uh, watch party. Um, oh, wait, hold on one second. I need to load up my streamer bot so I can change from solo queue. You have a PS5 on the wedding list, right? <laughs> you know it, Ludacris. You know it, buddy. You know it. All right, cool. And now I can do exclamation watch party. And I want to make sure you guys see that. So let me pull this up. Let me switch over to lobby. 
Or actually, no, I don't have that under my screen anymore. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. We're watch partying it right now. Hey, let's go, dude. Wick, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. What did you put? LOL, laughing and crying, man. Hey, W's in chat for Wick. I appreciate it so much, bro. Um, I'm already gonna put that towards the, I'm gonna put that towards the new PC fund. Um, if anyone's curious, I've literally been on the same PC for the last five years. Um, I've done everything through this one PC, so it definitely is time for an upgrade. Um, at least my GPU needs an upgrade um, because I'm rocking a 2070 and then I have a um, i7 9700K, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a freaking monster PC, uh, hopefully by the end of this year. Good afternoon, brother. That sucks what just happened. I lost over 200 SR yesterday because of not loading into matches. It, ever since the new update, Joseph, I've just been running into a crap ton of issues. It's it's just how it is, man. Uh, w Wick, thank you. Yes, W's, W's. New PC money. Yep, you already know it, Wick. It's already going to the fund right now. Uh, two new teams, Royal Ravens and Miami Heretics. Would you guys believe me if I told you during Cold War, uh, year two of the CDL, they were supposed to bring on four more teams to make a total of 16 teams? And then that didn't work, and they said, all right, let's do Vanguard, and then Vanguard didn't work, and then they said, all right, let's just not do it at all. <laughs> it doesn't let me super chat for some reason. Anyone know a fix? The dollar sign doesn't appear on the text box. Oh, I'm not sure, Hawk. It sucks because... It, the super chatting is all through YouTube, so I really don't know. Also, I got to make sure I'm not getting... Okay, you know, if I keep talking, I won't get DMCA'd. Um, so, sorry. The super chat, that's all through YouTube, so I really don't know how to fix it, unfortunately, and I do apologize. Um, what did I miss? What's good, Carnage? Uh, Carnage, you didn't miss much, man. I mean, like, the first hour, everything was going great, and then we ran into a bunch of 3v4s. We ran in against a bunch of four stacks. And then um, there's just a few games where I have like Platinums on my lobby and they're just like fighting each other instead of like playing the game. It's so weird. Hey, let's go. Let's go. What's your plan? I want to hear it. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Gotta talk through this so I don't get DMC8. Mm, mm, yeah. Okay, I gotta actually literally keep talking through this though. I'm not kidding. I actually have to. Uh, one time, believe it or not, I did a watch party and literally the intro was playing. Only one intro. I missed one intro and because I missed that one intro, I basically had to share all of my revenue, like 80-20 split with uh, CDL. I got 20%. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so, hey man, CDL, they know how to play. Or sorry, it's not even the CDL, but... It's the people who have the uh, music. They get the rights to the music. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm literally just spewing nonsense right now, just so <laughs> I avoid what I am talking about. Uh, Bradley, if that happens to you, go to a firing range and shoot the second target. You'll load in. Joseph, what question did Joseph have? Uh, oh, that sucks. Yesterday, I lost over 200 SR because of not loading into matches. So, Muhammad said, if that happens to you, go to firing range and then shoot the second target, you'll load in. Hopefully, that's real. I, I, I'm i going to start doing that now, Muhammad. Uh, do you think it's easier to rank up in Warzone than multiplayer? Nelson, um, I think if you have two good teammates, so if you have you and two other really good teammates that are like Iridescent Crimson, absolutely, I think you guys can get up to Iridescent and Warzone pretty easy. Um... Multiplayer though, multiplayer is so much harder just because you have way too many factors, right? So my answer to that question, Nelson, is I think Warzone is easier to rank up than multiplayer. They're both their own games. They both have their own, you know, fundamentals and everything. So you can't really compare the two, but I'm answering your question. <laughs> Yo, what matches are we watching? Marcus, right now we're watching Rocker, which this is a Gunless first CDL match in like two years. So freaking excited to watch Gunless. He's one of the best players that I personally watched uh, during uh, the Infinite Warfare era. Um, so I'm hoping he uh, pops off. Uh, it's FaZe versus Rocker right now. Oh... Obviously, we already watched the intros, so I should have known that we're playing against uh, FaZe versus Rocker, but... Bro, let's go, dude. This is gonna be lit. I can't wait. 
You crash out often if you're in a firing range while searching. <laughs> there you go, Jordan. So now, now we have different things saying, uh, or different answers now. Warzone for sure, you know it, Carnage. Um, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I don't know whether to take it seriously or laugh. Bro, Joseph, so here's the crazy part. Muhammad said that, right? Um, shoot the second bot in the firing range and you shouldn't crash. Someone earlier told me that if you sit in the control point and you spam your Y button, it captures it faster. And I'm like, what? So he's like, if you're one player sitting in a control point and you spam your Y button super fast, it cap it captures it like as if you have three people on it. And I'm just sitting here. I'm like, bro, like, are, like April Fools was like what, <laughs> eleven days ago? <laughs> so I'm super confused. But uh, Muhammad said it works, man. So you gotta you gotta try it, man. It never hurts to try. Let's go. I want to see a six star hard point today at least. But look at this freaking map. Look at this map pool. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, gosh. I wish I was a pro player right now. Damn, dude. That is beautiful. Are you going to talk over and express your opinions on plays and so? Absolutely, Marcus. Yes. So because um, majority of these players should be playing the brand new maps today, we are going to be talking about, um, you know, where are the spawns, what are the players thinking, and we're going to learn these maps together. So right now we get to learn Vista Hardpoint together, and then maybe we'll get to see 6R S&D. But honestly, I'm going to have to go for Atlanta phase to win this. Uh, no disrespect to Rocker. It's just Rocker, they have a brand new roster. They got to, you know, change some things. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can definitely rank up in Warzone faster. All you have to do is sit in a corner for a day or so. There you go, Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, I think that's, like, the crazy part is there's people who literally just sit in a corner the entire time, and they get up to Diamond in Warzone ranked without getting, like, barely any kills. Um, if you solo queue and you go for high kills, you can get up to Diamond very easy. Um, but once you hit Diamond, that's where you start playing against three-stack Iridescence, three-stack Top 250, three-stack Pro Players, and it's uh, it's annoying to play against. No invasion, almost enough to make a grown man cry. Bro, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, we'll more than likely see invasion control taken out like next major. So for major four. My friend has the problem where he and me connect to a game, then I load in, but he doesn't, and then the match cancels. He then gets like a 200 SR deduction for that and goes into a range and then shoots the target. For that, go into the range and shoot the targets. There you go. <laughs> yeah, hey. What, what would you rather have? Uh, missing out on 200 SR or shooting a bot in a private match or, I mean, in a fine green range? It's funny. Yes, Nightbot. Thank you so much, Nightbot. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Uh, but, bro, we're about to load into this Vista Hardpoint. The countdown match timer is probably at 10 seconds. Oh, it's at one second, and we're in, bro. Let's go, Gunless. Yeah, Gunless and Standy back on Rocker, so we're going to have to really see how this turns out. Um, but, of course, I'm going for FaZe. All right, so right here, FaZe, they're literally just trying to maintain the left side of the map. That's why you saw number one, Draza, he didn't immediately fly in. He's trying to make sure they have good spawns the entire time. Uh, because if you hold the left side of the map, you'll more than likely win the game. Um, so right here, even though... Oh, my goodness. A BZ. Finally getting traded out. 20 seconds left. P2 is going to be on the bottom side of the map. So number one is already here on the early rotation. Here to cut. Two and one are going to work this together. They're going to have really good team shots right here. All right, Codcaster is lagging. That's me lagging. I'm about to press pause just so it can buffer a little bit, I guess. All right, so like right here, I would honestly argue that um, after these first initial gunfights, like Gunless, once he got that two piece right there, maybe he could have pushed through and tried to like go for a flip. But 
again, like this is where I get really scared. Um, but at the 40 second mark, it looks like five and eight are trying to go for an early rotation. And number three is predicting that. Look at that. So you can already see that in the pro scrims at the 40 second mark, people are already rotating to try and get good spawns for new. And now 30 second points, uh, we're going to have Simp holding down this entire left angle. And uh, once again, Rocker, they're on bad spawns, but number six spawns out. Yeah. Accuracy should never spawn there. Literally should never spawn there. And now this is where FaZe is probably punching a hole in their wall. Yeah, because this is literally like a money hill. So if you guys remember um, that match that I was playing against uh, before my freaking PC crashed, uh, the enemy team nearly hold a full 60 on this hard point right here. Yeah, what Maven is saying right now, that is typically how you have hard points, is typically they're supposed to crisscross. So one bottom right, one top left, one uh, bottom or top right. It's just supposed to go back and forth, back and forth. All right, but look at Rocker. So like Rocker have a beautiful line set up right there, just holding down the entire uh, push. Number five knows that no one's pushing the right lane. So now he backs up to play those trades left. Number six gets a bad timing. And now once again, Rocker is spawning and like these P3, P4 are literally the money hills. So Rocker now taking the lead very well may go up a hundred points right here on uh, this next hard point or not go up by a hundred points, but go up by 50 points, if not more. And look at, look at those gunfights, super freaking easy for Rocker. And now once again, FaZe spawning in the bad side. So I want to let you guys know, like the mindset for FaZe right now is Okay, look, 4P1, P2, oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. 4P5, we can contest, keep a lot of time for P5, we can soak up a lot of time for P1, and then we can go for a spawn flip during like P2. But as we see this, FaZe Clan, they're only caring about a spawn flip right now. Literally, FaZe Clan said we only want to go for a spawn flip, and they don't get it, dude. That sucks. Selium about to get a three-piece. Oh, I thought he was. No disrespect, Linz. Gunless popping off. I wish we were watching this gunfight in the bottom left of the map right there because that was a huge gunfight between Simp and Linz. Because Simp wins that, now he's going to apply so much pressure onto the opponents and just cause so much confusion. Where like number eight's playing it very, you know, scared. Number six, I don't know how number six got back here. I should have been paying attention. I guess he just won gunfights and was able to push up. Last few trades are going down. And definitely the best setup for this P5 is doing a line setup. That is for sure. Number eight. Unfortunately, trades not going their way. I miss Skid Row. Dude, I honestly really did enjoy Skid Row, but there's just way too many money hills. So I'm glad that it's gone now. Um, I have no issues with bringing Skid Row back for S&D, though. Um, thank you, Muhammad. I will try. That is good. Yes, like that, like that, like. <laughs> so what if they on ranked give you three or two map options, make you vote for it? Uh, Jack, chances are people will probably never play S&D. Um, so that's why they just give you the map that you get. Uh, but I don't know why they don't do that. They did it in the past, Jack, and I totally agree. Just let us choose the maps that we can play. Uh, drop a like on the video, fam, if you haven't. Support your boy. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Uh, just don't be in the firing range before queuing. You can during the ping search, though, or whatever. Good advice. Uh, Standy on Rocker is a W. Dude, Gunless on Rocker is a W as well, man. Um, right here, Rocker still have good spawns for literally the next three hard points. Um, so Rocker's now in the position that FaZe should have been. Uh, it's just accuracy got that lucky spawn, but we're going to see if uh, FaZe get a lucky spawn. And this is a listen in. I'm going to be quiet. And like that right there. Right now, go left. Go left if you guys can. We also have a street. 
Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Can you kill Bobby for me no, or no? I can't, I can't. Tim's still out. Tower dead up middle, tower dead up middle. I'm Bobby. Top sign, 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 I got it. I'm I saw your metal for you. I'm pushing the guy's side. I've repeat one. I've repeat one for you. Both time, both time, both time, both time, both time. One dead, one dead on you. Time, 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 time. Time, time, time. Ivory middle, Ivory middle for you. Side, one bullet, absolute side. I need help. One bullet, side, side, side. One up middle, one up middle as well. Side, up middle. Two sides, two sides, two sides. Three old, three old, three old. Last three old, yeah. Here you go. When you hear that three old, I mean. I feel like we could have got more map control right there. He's already lobby going P1. There's two, two lobbies to P1 right now. For Sean. Yeah, blue, blue. Yeah, Big win. They're gonna be lobby guys. I'm trying to block it. Time, time. This one did. And just like that, Rocker very well may just win the game right here because they still have good spawns. Look how much map control they have. Literally zoning the enemies. Oh no, though. This is where. They did it. They held it. They're good. Yeah, they're probably going to take the lead right here and more than likely win this game now. All right, so one major thing I want to point out was uh, while Rocker were calling out to each other, there was a call out that I wanted to talk about how just because Rocker is a brand new team, that's going to cause problems. And Gunless, he was working with Linz. They were working the bottom right lane over here for P2. And literally, Gunless said, I'm one shot, I'm one shot, I'm one shot. And Linz still challenged out and died. And then Gunless died, right? So all that means is they just don't have a good understanding with team chemistry. That's it. I'm not saying it was a bad play. I'm not saying anyone's wrong. I'm not saying anything bad happened. It's literally they just lack the team chemistry. Uh, because next time in the future, when Linz hears Gunless say, I'm one shot, I'm one, I'm one. Linz is going to know, okay, Gunless does not want to challenge. So I'm not going to challenge. Once Gunless is full health, we'll both challenge. Um, obviously... Another example could be, oh, no, 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 no. When Gunless is one shot, Gunless should fly out, bait, and then Lin should be there for the trade. Uh, it just depends on the teamwork. Right there, there was just zero teamwork. And that was something very important to point out with, you know, the lack of team chemistry since this is a brand new team. And, uh, wow, I wish I wasn't talking because FaZe Clan literally flip spawns, soak up all of that P4. What the hell happened, guys? Why was I talking? <laughs> I love Elias. Yeah, Joseph, I gave that heart to you, man. Uh, I never understood why Standy wasn't on a team for the long. Must have been internal slash team chem because he's always been a great player on screen, at least. There you go, Mike. I mean, there's obviously a lot of um, background things that we don't know about, right? Or behind the scene things that we don't know about. Um, it just happens. I mean, there's some people that just don't enjoy playing with other people and they're like, yo, I don't want to play with this person anymore. Who's still standing tall though? It's gunless. Just use the bridge as best he can till the reinforcements come. Yeah, that's why you have to control P1 on this hill. Right? It's crazy. It's looking like this might end at a P2. If Rocker could uh, hold P1 right here and make it mixy, this could very well end at P2. But FaZe do a great job breaking on through that P1, getting that angle on the gunless on the hill. That's great scrap time if we can get them off of it. Oh no. It's a new map, but. The difference for FaZe nice. is coming to hard point. These last few years is where the struggles have been. All right, we got to get inside of P1, though. Big gunfight from Simp. Yeah, they're just a little late on getting the map control that they need to get, but it's all good. Uh, I always say this, but you guys usually want to make sure you already, you already have a player in P1 by 20 seconds. Just holding that P1 middle helps so freaking much, and uh, this is their last attempt. Oh, well, GG's. And FaZe win map one. <laughs> Again, Rocker, they got two, they got two brand new players. So the team chem, they got to, you know, work, thing that, work things out. But that was awesome to watch, man. Have you gone to a live CDL tournament? Um, I personally have not gone to a CDL tournament. But I've been to six UMG, MLG, Call of Duty World League tournaments. I've been to all the major events. Uh, but CDL, not so much, just because it's mostly watching rather than playing. Who are the two not in this rocker team now? Can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Standy and Gunless. 
are just gonna get smoked. Yeah, and right now the casters are just saying how all these new maps really create um it really creates this to play like old Call of Duty. Okay, I'm talking a lot. I need to like slow down a little bit. Take a break. My thoughts are coming out faster than my mouth can uh, say the words. Oh, sorry. I misread your uh, I, I misread your question, Jordan. I apologize, but thank you, Mike. Uh, Awakening and Vivid are gone. Thank you, Mike. Um, Simp was 10 and 17 at one point. Yeah, exactly. So, like, this is one thing that people don't understand about um, Call of Duty. And I'm talking about, like, ranked play players. You have to understand that there's a good side and there's a bad side. Um, so, um, basically, the good side for this map is you want to be spawning on the left side. Because FaZe Clan, they're spawning on the bad side of the map, you're just going to lose gunfights. Whenever you guys are on offense, on control, you're going to have the hardest gunfights ever. Whenever you guys have bad spawns on hard point, you're going to have the hardest gunfights ever. So you are just naturally going to have a worse stat line. That's how Call of Duty works. Um, and this is where like people, they focus too much on the small picture and never the big picture. Where the big picture is... Just because FaZe was literally able to get brand new spawns for P3 over here, just because FaZe got good side, FaZe was able to soak up all of P3, or the rest of P3, all of P4, and then they were able to contest P5 a lot because they had the ideal spawns. And then once again, they have the ideal spawns, so when they play P1, they're able to win a majority of those gunfights, which are just easier. So there's always a good side and a bad side on a map. Make sure you're always playing the good side so the game is easier for you. If you're on the bad side, you're going to lose a lot of gunfights because the game is designed that way, which people just don't understand. They just sit there and they're like, my team's bad. And it's like, no. Well, yeah, they are bad, but it's because you guys are on offense. <laughs> hey, Elias, I have a question. What part of the country are you from? West Coast. Uh, damn rocker kind of bottled that a little bit Muhammad. I wish I I'm gonna go back and like actually see what happened during that p3 because I genuinely have no clue Let's see what happened Was this was this the worst like mistake of my life right now I'm trying to go backwards and rewatching the CDO? It's looking like it Now I'm starting to question if like my streams broken now um Nobody is going to stalk me, so I'm comfortable uh, saying I live in Delaware. Delaware. Nice. Uh, yeah, I thought it was those two, seeing them grinding ranked. Rocker with Illy could have honestly been a top five team. Uh, every time I see Lin's playing, he is frying. Yo, Elias, always loving your content. Thanks, teacher. Hey, thank you so much, man. Um, well, my bad, guys. I wanted to go back and uh, figure out what happened. <laughs> Literally... I can't go back to P3. All right, here it is. So what happened? Did they just rotate early? So 20 seconds. They fight old. They get this time old. They win the gunfight middle. And then seven spawns out. That, again, seven and five are not supposed to spawn out right there unless maybe a player top middle was pre-aiming the spawns and that blocked the spawns. And again, the freaking live stream sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's looking like literally just because FaZe got a lucky spawn, or sorry, Rocker got a bad spawn, giving FaZe a good spawn, that's the reason why they won, because they held a full 60 on this P4. And like I said, P3, P4, those are basically your money hills. And uh, that's why they won. Wow, insane. All right, we're going to go back to the live broadcast because this is annoying. All right, Rio S&D. Sorry, everyone. All right, let's get to the second round. Oh, Simp is feeling it, man. Hey, all of them are feeling it, bro. All of them are just hyped to be back. I love it. They're probably just like super happy. They're like, bro, we got brand new maps. Life is good. We're the top two team. Every time we won the last major. A lot of them were just like one on one gunfights. It was a headshot for Cell. Because I remember I saw Cell after it. I'm like, Cell, did you headshot K like six times that map? He was like, yeah, I was frying him. Yeah, he just, no, it was one of those ones where, yeah, I think it was. 
just gunfights where it's just a head and head shot was the difference. No. It looks real frustrating though yeah. for Kenny. Yeah, team changes, map changes, also weapon changes, right? With that MCW, so we'll see how that impacts, yep. impacts things. Weapon changes, do not like the weapon changes. I mean, they're all right, but like, just keep the MCW as the same. Don't nerf it, man, please. The same guns in the equation for now, but yeah, draws and sip with the early kills. Traza with another. He's had back-to-back -back first bloods, one with a nade. Traza. Leading the way and Rocker falling steadily here. Yeah, it's kind of, you're, you're just giving them individual. And this is s and Literally all the. <laughs> I don't know, the play of a new team, a new roster, just trying to get on. So far watching this s and we didn't really see any kills, like actually like watch the actual gunfights. We've just been staring at the minimap right now. It's one-on-one after one-on-one. That's internet. That's that's all internet. Is this their host? What? Well, you know, you're trying to think about how to slow down a good search team, and yeah, like slow it down. Sure. Yo, I think I run Standy's rival nine. Standy literally hit him with like 50 bullets and didn't die. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying, bro. How? Just <laughs> gotta shake that off. He needs sleep. Draza been playing heaps of scrims, dude. He wants it, man. He's a grinder. Like Draza, he's he's scary. Just because he's like, no, I'm gonna keep playing. No, I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing. It's just insane. He he's a a really good role model uh, to look up. In terms of work I mean, ethic, at least. Smoke grenade on the right lane? I like that. <gasps> Was that a stuck? Was that a stick on accuracy? They get another first blood, another bomb getting planted. These rounds have been efficient. All right, yeah, let's get some on the board. This was starting to remind me of Warhawk S and D versus SB. Like we were getting to that territory a couple more rounds, Joe. A couple more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Gunless gets him on the board. Now you have a one versus three for Standy. Turns into one on two, 30 seconds. Some time to work with. Sometime, not enough though. Nice oh, spot. they hit him. Should have given him the info. They're like, hey, you can run through it. He's gonna hop the bomb. They're gonna double check it. Standy trying to find the one on three with the That was a very good play right there by Standy. Yeah, like literally just playing the timing, causing FaZe to overthink that. FaZe probably was just like, bro, if he hopped it immediately, he probably has like two seconds, so we gotta get there now. And uh Imagine if Sandy, like, instead of, like, pushing them, read that play. He sits on that head glitch, guarantees one. Probably guarantees the second guy, too. That's just a very tough 1v3 regardless, though. Of course, FaZe is uh, not trying to blunder at all. Yeah, that's this map so far. Yeah, Rock River, they've tried to spread the map. Tried to do it last time. This time, looks like they're going to go right over towards A. Gonna have Cell and Simp here. The Dude, this is my favorite setup. Literally, number four does all the baiting, so then Simp can literally just sit right here and pop a four piece, bro. But, like, look at the discipline in these pro players. Like, Celium knows because I threw these grenades, they're going to be preeming the head glitch. If I challenge this, I'm dead. I was awkward. All right, it's looking like this could be a round win for Rocker, but what we're going to see right now is, okay, one player is going to get inside a garage, and then four is going to, they're both going to double challenge here. One player is going to go inside a garage, and then if they can kill the guy in garage, one player is going to hop on bomb while the other one looks over him. Oh, no, Draza can't die, but obviously this is a Rocker win round. Again, whenever offense gets the bomb down, it's pretty tough to break it, but just got to play for that perfection. <laughs> I was hoping to see gunless webcam, man. The problem with the guns now is the WSP swarm. <laughs> Dude, that swarm is so overpowered. I can't wait for it to get taken out. Uh, if it doesn't get taken out, then I'm fine with it staying in. Um, I just want to know what gun do we need to run. I'm sure with tech, it's possible to make every player rotate game mode and then vote for the maps for that mode. I'd rather wait a little bit longer than play the same over and over and over again. Oh yeah, so Jack, uh, that already exists. They've done it in the past. They just took it away. Um, so the reason why they took it away was just because no one was playing S and D and ranked play at all, and because of that, they said we gotta, you know, have people play this. So now uh, they gave away, uh, or now you don't have the option for choice anymore, unfortunately. 
Hey, man. Yeah, even Hugo loves that uh, swarm. Bro, imagine we saw someone like just rage and just pull out the swarm and now they're never a pro again. The 100 round is the problem, right, Jordan? Yeah. I can't believe that 100 round is even a freaking attachment in ranked play. So right here, this is a good fatal funnel. Well, not a... It, it's not a fatal funnel for um, Rocker, but I was just trying to say, like, that was a very good push. Just play the 3v1 in your lane. Uh, but unfortunately, Rocker... It sucks, because Rocker, they all three push up that middle. They kill the first guy middle. And then once you get the info on the guy left lane, I would say, like, at that point, like, literally just all fly at that guy left lane and then just play the trades. But again, these are all awkward scenarios. You know, the best of the best in the world, so... Um, I just hope everyone knows, like, everything I am saying, like, this is just all from my own perspective and what I'm observing. Um, everything I say isn't necessarily what these players are actually thinking in that moment, right? So if I ever say, oh, this player should have done that, oh, Drowza should have done this, Accuracy should have done that, I'm only saying that because I'm thinking that's what I would have done, right? I'm not trying to tell them how to play the game. I shouldn't tell them how to play the game because they are pros. I just want to make sure I get that point across, but what a beautiful read. Yeah, I know. How did they pick up on that read? They probably just get into that VOD review and knew, well, nothing right lane, nothing middle lane. These guys are just pushing out A. So yeah, they probably just knew that from VOD review. Holding that lane, holding that cut. All on lens now. Who got his first kill? Looking for more. Not going to happen. Time for the defuse. Fifth round up for Phase. I thought that was gonna play out so well for Rocker. Yeah. I don't know. They saw. I don't think they saw anyone, but they just all backed up. Maybe just VOD. Is the swarm G8 in CDL? Yes, it is, Joseph. And the CDL, you can only run the MCW and the Rival 9, and everyone runs the same attachments. Um, except for maybe one muzzle would be changed, and that's about it. Like, oh, they got this. No, no, they do not. So one more round needed now for One phase. more round. Round. Looks like they want to hit this. Is there working right to be Lone Man for now? Will be Len, so still looking to really make it. It's Simpsium? Within this map. Yeah, phase, no, I, I mean, they've done this a couple of offensive rounds now where they've just... And look, phase just has so much map control. If you're going to play for these retakes, this is where you have to cash in if you are a rocker. Giving up this spot now, trying to use the smoke from Standy. Almost catches a BZ. But after all of that, after the smokes are down, it's still a four versus four. Bunch of smokes for retake. We're playing this like CSGO. Smokes for retake? That's insane. Just able to weasel away. The sells POV. Pistol on, pistol on. GG's. Wow. That was a uh, very quick Rio SMD. Not going to happen. They send it at him. It is calm. All right, and now we got to watch the boring maps. Uh, so I don't even know what the control is, but it's one of the three controls that we already play. Oh, yo, what's good, Empire? What's good, Go? How you doing, man? Thank you so much for stopping by, man. I agree with that, but we should all have more options when it comes to weapons. Yeah. Yeah, like, Joseph, that's the thing. Like, for ranked play, it's not really, like, playing like the pro players unless they only give you one AR, one submachine gun. That's it. Um, but it's ranked play, so, you know, just having option, it just makes it fun. Keeps it, you know, refreshing. Uh, but people get upset by it. <laughs> Best coach, everybody, make sure to leave a like. Thank you, Empire. I appreciate it so much, man. Always showing the support. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, Jack does have a great idea, uh, Durr. I just wish they would actually do it, man. Uh, they only gave us one AR in ranked. In that case, they should just give us one SMG too. Couldn't agree more, Jordan. I don't know why they didn't do that. It's kind of ridiculous they didn't. Um, I remember in Season 1, obviously, the SVA was there, and I think, like, one more AR, and they immediately just got rid of them. Pretty annoying. This guy content is straight gems. Thank you, Empire. I try, man. I try.
when AR sucks. <laughs> it, it, it creates a balanced game, but again, yeah, one AR in ranked while subs have three subs they can choose. It's just not fair. It's just not fair. Map three. What is map three? I would love to see a six star SMD. Please, please. What are we playing though? Control? What control? Did he say? Never miss a match of your favorite teams uh, with excuse the me? Duty calendar sync. Here is the fun okay. When you add a calendar, calendar sync. You also receive a squad up calling card you can use in game. Squad up. That's dope. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Scuff. Okay. On the official CDL that's cool. Nice little uh, QR code on the bottom right. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster, Monster Energy. That's the dope. Official energy drink of the CDL. And sponsored by Elias. <laughs> I agree, Gems. Thank you, Joseph. Always freaking appreciate the love and support from everyone in this chat, man. It's it's always constant, dude. It is literally always constant. Um, Let's go see what uh, Scump and them are talking about. Yeah, I mean, might as well not be bored. What are they talking about? I mean, I don't know who that dog is back there, but they could have used uh, they could use Henry. Henry was that one flew right over you. They should have. We oh, have a little video had all our bro. One day, one day, yeah, one day I'm gonna have raid. this. Oh, yeah. on all one day. The optic dog squad. And then there's gonna be four Eliases on the chat. It's it's, it's gonna be Elias, 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 and Elias. Welcome to the Elias show. <laughs> All right, cool. I thought they were like, I don't know, breaking down the game or something, but they're just vibing. Oh, they're doing a giveaway. That's cool. That's cool. How much longer do we have until the Karachi control? Two freaking minutes. Ew. Wait, why are there only two matches today? So I am not going to pull up X on my uh website or sorry on my google because that's the worst thing you can do pulling up x or twitter um but i'm curious why is there only two matches today so what we're running five matches tomorrow and five matches sunday or what um I have something in my front pocket for you. Um, let's see here. I can't find anything about why we're only playing two matches today. <gasps> hey, we got a six star hard point though. In the next series, Vegas versus LAG, we got a six star hard point guaranteed, dude. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy. Yeah, dude, only two matches today. That is cringe. Wow. So wait, are we about to have a crap ton of matches this weekend then? Hmm, weird. Uh, the Elias show, let's go, right, Empire? Dude, I don't know, man. One of these days, one of these days. All right, we are going back. Let me go ahead and pull the music back on hear this audio um i am trying to figure out if we're gonna see five matches tomorrow and five matches on sunday now that's interesting if that was like their goal right um ba -da -da -ba -da 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 all right there we go welcome back Um. Wow. What? So there's. Okay. So there's two matches today. There's three matches tomorrow, and then there's three matches on Sunday. Usually there's four matches on Saturday and Sunday, right? Or am I twisted? Usually it's three on Friday, and then four on Saturday, four on Sunday. Who's not playing this weekend? Optic, wait, no, Optic is playing this weekend. Unfortunately, I'm going to miss that match on Sunday. That's going to be so good. Optic versus FaZe on Sunday. 
So Optic, Phase, LA, Las Vegas, Seattle, uh, Carolina, Minnesota, NYSL, Boston, Miami, Toronto, LAG. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, all 12 teams are playing this weekend, but we only have uh, eight matches. Yeah, I do have a Twitter or X. Uh, you can go ahead and do exclamation X, I think, and it should pop up. Or maybe it's Twitter. Let me see. Okay, that is not a command, but I am going to make that a command. What about Twitter? Optic versus phase is always a good one. I can't wait for that Sunday, man. Aren't we missing four then? Yeah, we're missing a uh, freaking. Yeah, but we're basically literally missing four matches, but I guess it's just uh, more time to play, I guess. So I'm just trying to even it out. Yeah, I don't have an exclamation X or exclamation Twitter, but if you click on the description of this video, um, my Twitter is there and you can click on it. Yeah, that doesn't work, unfortunately. I wish it did. But I'm, I am going to change it to that uh, starting our next live stream. Who is Team Rocker's coach? They need you, Elias. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, I, do, I do not know. <laughs> Selium's hair is just funny to you? Why is that, man? I think it's pretty fresh. I think it is funny, though, how like he's known for like snaking. And uh, <laughs> if he was snaking in real life, it would not work. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you guys go to, uh, like the description, like if you're on my live stream, you go to the description, you click more at the bottom right here. I'll, I'll have my Twitter just like uh, CDL does. It's looking like my ranked matches right now. Oh, good catch. Last ditch effort, but we'll see if it'll end up being enough. They still have a lot of progress to do. I imagine you're going to send a push of this to your face. There's 11.5 seconds. Why the hell wouldn't you? They'll try to set this up, but gunless. I mean, that's the scary thing, though, is like if you do lose the gunfights, like a lot could go bad. But like, I want to point out look how long FaZe took to work the map, to work the gunfights, and then just like that, they now win the round. Uh, so. That is just right there. Discipline, coordination as a team. The full team is being cool, calm, and collected. Like, that was a beautiful round to check out right there. That was beautiful. Accuracy's webcam is broken. <laughs> I was like, why is he not blinking? Yeah, he definitely could not snake. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped the follow there. Thank you so much. So did they GA the barrel on the rival? They did not GA the barrel on the rival. Uh, the voting did not go through, so you can still run the barrel. It reminds me of the 90s box cuts. Exactly, Joseph. Yeah, exactly. Dude, watch. One of these days, once, like, you know, I become a pro player, dude, I'm about to, like, have, like, you know, some cuts into the eyebrow, have some lines in my eyebrow. I'm going to be looking fresh. <laughs> Oh gosh. He's just smiling. He's just having fun. He's just like, dude, I can't believe I get to do this for like my job. My goodness. Yeah, I mean just these rivals are hitting. It's that initial stat. Oh my gosh, the rival. Kind of losing. I think that's what we're seeing from some of these gunfights. But if you hit your initial bullet, I swear that thing is just a laser. Yep. Yep. That's called in a nutshell. Yep. Hey, your first, first bullet. Welcome to aim assist central. Yep. Trying to stick people in the dirt and work towards this second bit of objective. Look at number four. Just literally hold down that entire left lane. So two and three, all they have to focus on is middle and right lane. Number four, just by him sitting bridge, cuts off that entire left side of the map. Obviously, at this point, we need to start working B. So he gave it up. Now, usually you would want to go for a collapse hit right here, but of course we got to play for the first initial gunfights. Oh, I thought Stellium was going to do it. GA sells haircut. <laughs> it's too swag. Yeah, I kind of want biscuit now, honestly. 
Sitting bottom red, playing his life. That's good info. That's really good info right there. That should set up Standy to get a two-piece. All good. Honestly, I feel like Gunless should have... Uh, again, I'm not trying to explain how these guys should be playing. I'm just trying to share my thoughts. Um, these guys are professionals for a reason. I'm just trying to think about what I would be doing. But, like, number six is in a beautiful spot. Number six will be able to play for those two spawners. Yeah, so number six is spawning them out at Chicken Coop. And so what does that force you? When you're spawning Coop side, you kind of have to go through the middle of the map or work the defensive spawn. Straza just around this yellow car, just trying to find anything. And at this point, like, with... Okay, well, now... Now you would want to sit here still. we've seen, like, in a phase on this particular map. This is extremely scary because now Abizi is going to spawn red. Abizi is literally going to spawn red unless Six gets there in time. Okay, good. Six got there in time and uh, was fortunately enough able to spawn Abizi out, but I got scared right there for a second. Big gunfights. All right, good defense round. We'll really see how that map uh, turns out. It looks like we may go round five. If you go pro, hit me up to be your S and D coach. That's what I do for a living. Squad up. You, you're an S and wait, S and D coach or S and C coach? That's really sick, Jordan. I had no idea, man. It's too OP. Yeah, dude, that rival mine freaking destroys. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if that's S and D or S and C. <laughs> what is S and C? I, I honestly don't know if that's what you meant to put. Just flooding red until you have control or jump until you have control, and then things unravel eventually. Yeah. They're never able to get to that. All right. Beyond four in a row, he kind of wipes everybody out. His streak is high as accuracy is total kill count to this point. I love how like teams just don't go red anymore. Because I feel so irrelevant. <laughs> like, number three simp is just like, well, I'm just going to hold this just in case. But, like, damn. That's that's literally me. That's literally me. No one pushed my lane. Now, no one's, like, ugh. <laughs> so annoying. Accuracy was trying to work his way over towards B. Same with the rest of the team now, trying to fly on through. Big kills. Oh, my gosh. Look at those spawns red. Look at all those close spawns red just because of number four. Draza off. Oh, number eight's going to get a lucky timing. That's a terrible spawn uh, for number eight to have. And what the hell? Yeah, I was about to say that. It's like he got high alert. That's crazy. Either he shot or he heard something because he yeah, just he snapped. Because I was thinking if he died there, that's an even bigger opening for them to push through. Yeah, that was really interesting right there on how, like, Celium won that gunfight and turned on uh, wins. Standy just went big. Strength and conditioning. Strength and conditioning. I work with pro basketball players, but hey, can help gaming too. It can, Jordan. Dude, Jordan. So, like... This is where you're absolutely right, man. I got to get you hired onto that CDL because people don't believe. Let me try to find the right words for this. A lot of people really don't know what all it takes. You know what I mean? Like you hear people that will say, I will sacrifice everything. I will do whatever it takes. Do people really do whatever it takes? You know what I mean? Um, because me personally, I believe that if you obviously have good sleep, you have good physical exercise, you have good diet, that will literally turn you into a freaking superhero, one of the best Call of Duty players, and it will only help increase your performance. However, for video games and esports, Call of Duty, people don't believe that. And it's like, how do you not believe that? There's literally science proving it. And it's just, there's teams that are doing it right, but the, there's teams that aren't, like, they don't believe in it. So obviously, like, NYSL, the top four teams, Ultra, Optic, Phase, they, they really do value um, your uh, strength and conditioning. And it's just the other teams, they're really not doing that, so... I can't wait for the future. I really can't wait for the future, Jordan. That's really sick, man. Good to know, and thanks for sharing as well. 
easy, but is he searching for him? Dude, okay. The rounds are getting closer and closer. Big trades. Yeah, five versus four. Oh, no. Yeah, and right here, FaZe should guarantee win this just because they're on defense. This is what I was trying to tell you guys, how there's always a good side and a bad side, or if you're playing defense versus offense, offense is always going to be um, having to, like, they're always going to be at a disadvantage, right? Like a 60-40 disadvantage. Yeah, 1v2, you're predictable. It's GG's. Not bad, though. Not bad, though. 100%. You can see these pro players starting to look after themselves more and more. Exactly, Jordan. Uh, me, personally, I'm trying to do that as well. We're all on our own journey, though. You know what I mean? So, I'm getting there. I'm getting there as well. But I'm glad you could see it too as well, Jordan. Um, and there's just a lot of players. There's a lot of challengers players. There's a lot of amateurs who just don't believe in that. And that's where I guess like obviously like the bottom six CDL teams and then a majority of like the challenger players, like they just have it wrong. They have their, they have like a really like awkward work ethic that just isn't good. Um, like all challenger players, they literally sit there and say, you got to play eight to 10 hours a day. You got to play 10 hours a day. You got to play more. You got to play more. And it's like, no, <laughs> 10 hours should be your whole training, right? A whole hour of getting physical exercise, a whole hour of VOD review, a whole hour of map breakdown, and then a full six, seven hours of team scrims. That's how it should be built out. Um, even then, you only need to work six to eight hours a day. Um, most of these pro players, their scrims are only lasting uh, six to eight hours a day. So it's just it's just so cool being in a brand new sport like this or like a brand new esport like this just because there's so many different mindsets, philosophies. It's it's really uh, it's really cool to check out. Yep, yep, push it together. I'm healed up. Look at that teamwork. I love it. Oh, easy trade, though. Can't believe he gets one shot. Is this a 3 0? I don't want this to be a 3 0. It's honestly looking like a 3 0. Just because right here, FaZe has way too much map control on this A point. That's going to force Rock, uh, Rocker to give it up. And Rocker, they're not even depleting the freaking segment on B. Uh, so at this point, FaZe Clan, 20 lives left. That means they basically have four to five opportunities to break B and then capture the point, which should be pretty easy at this point now. Yep, exactly. Yep. And that's the game. That'll be the first domino. Gunless is pushed up towards ticket, able to find the first. And that's gonna so right now, the reason why this is not game is because Abizi's focus on getting map control and holding this first the entire time. It is always better getting map control first and then the objective last. But as you guys can see, if they realize that they killed two players, they could have stacked the point and just won the round right then and there. Um, it's just really interesting, once again, just seeing how, like, some of these plays go down based on the information that you take. Yeah, man, priorities for sure. Get married, new place, chill time. Then I'll send you a resume if you're keen. Absolutely, Jordan, you know I am. Your gut health is directly related to your mental health and your sleep directly relates to your mind attention span unless they are using substances to enhance their performance on game day. Love that, Jordan. Dude, Jordan, I gotta... I gotta talk to you, man. I gotta learn about that science stuff. <laughs> uh once again dude thank you so much for sharing that's really cool to know uh what your job is and what you do for a living thank you for doing it too uh again like we really need people who are experts at what they do um just to help people grow so can't wait to learn from you and hopefully what i learned from you i can spread to other people and just Ideally, help the world get better. Um, that's a big freaking objective, but we're going to do it. Oh, my goodness, man. You'd think that'd be like a guaranteed kill for Standy. 
Good job so far. Any time he can stop this clock, though, is great. Any contested time just allows them to maybe take this to lives. Every single second he's able to stay on the point. Draws a wow. 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 So the literally, job here. they could still win this. I'm going to be quiet. I'm not going to say anything yet. Now you have three lives remaining for Rocker. Linz has got the entire Atlanta phase team about to drop kick him. He drops Standy and Gunless trying to stand strong. Not quite able to do it. It's all on Standy. Welcome back to the league. Yes, good play. Beautiful play right there. He's won this. He's won this. He's won this. He read this. Oh, you got this. You have time. You have time. Relax, relax. No way. Yes. No, heal up. Heal up. That sucks. That was a good try. So it looks like Standy was predicting him to push right there. That's why he challenged a second early before getting full health. Uh, but if he got full health right there, who knows? That's a 50-50. It could go anyway. But damn, phase 3-0 rocker. That control was really close. Um, what I was going to say was phase. They had an opportunity where if they knew that the last two players were middle and bottom red, they could have easily just hop on the point, stack it, boom, GG's. Uh, but they didn't know where those last two players were. So they just prioritized getting the map control and just playing fundamentally correct. So that's the only reason why I got really close right there. But good 3-0 from FaZe. Um, 10 years working around the world. That is amazing, Jordan. Dude, thank you so much for sharing that. Just like Jinxie, he, Jinxie does like a talent show. Imagine like we did a um, a talent show, but like we just talk about like, what do we do for work <laughs> or something like that? Because that's really interesting, Jordan. And that's so cool, man. Congrats. <laughs> I work construction, that's my exercise, but definitely healthy sleeping patterns and good diet help a lot. Exactly. Sleeping patterns, diet, physical health, focus on those three things. They will just bleed into your life and make everything that much better. Um, we just got to work on it and uh, discipline ourselves. Uh, but JM, dude, you work construction. Um, that's really sick, dude. What have you uh, worked on? Do you like work on skyscrapers? Do you work on uh like rural houses or what do you work on uh i'm asking just because uh jm uh my dad used to be a construction worker as well um and then unfortunately he hurt his back and then he switched over to uh, being an electrician electrician especially our host chris puckett yeah, our lives outside playing COD. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy that like whenever we do this live stream, like I always forget that like you guys have like literally an entire universe, an entire world that is your own, right? Like school, family, uh, friends, uh, other hobbies, work. Like there's so many things like I don't know about you guys, but it feels like we just already have like an instant like good connection relationship it's it's insane how like the internet and like the world works nowadays pretty crazy but i'm very blessed to get to know all of you guys in chat and thank you guys for um once again always helping and supporting me uh, as well but now we are officially going to be able to watch our first six star hard point in the cdl it's going to be las vegas versus lag very excited for this upcoming uh, matchup. Let's do it. Let's do it, JM. <laughs> we can have a white collar versus blue collar matchup. Wait. <laughs> what? Dude, that is like... That I feel like there's something there. I feel like there's something there. Like, what if that's the way we connect, like, the entire community again, right? Um, All of the Call of Duty community. Imagine that's how we connect each other. Is uh, white collar versus blue collar jobs. That's so sick. You know it, Jack. You know it. Hey, bro. Like that. Like I love how like almost everyone in this chat already knows that too. Like, hey, man. Body, mind, diet. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Vison. Um, it's about to go in down in P5. Dude, I can't wait for this P5, man. I'm super, super excited. Haven't seen it. You haven't seen it yet, Jordan. Oh, bro. It's about to be so fun right now. Um, earlier today in this live stream, I did a solo queue match where I explained how to play six star. I also went over some of the hard points on six star to try and help out people. And then um, 
Yeah, man, I just, I can't wait to see how the pros play it because I already have like a good understanding on how you should play it, but we will see, we will see. I live on a farm and it's lambing season. Marks, really? Dude, that is so freaking sick. So wait, Marks, like lambing season? Does that mean you're... What do you do with lamb? Do lamb give wool? No, ship give wool. Huh. Bro, I need to go back to school, man. I don't know anything that I'm talking about. But Mark's lambing season. What do you do? <laughs> Everyone watching you could literally do anything right now, and they chose to watch you. Pretty crazy, but definitely earned. Dave, same man. Like, when I was first starting out these live streams, I was, like, sitting there like, why are people doing this? Like, I... I feel like I don't deserve this. And I'm already like tearing up right now just because at the beginning, I didn't believe in myself. But because of you guys, you helped instill that belief and that confidence in myself where now, dude, I'm confident. And I'm, I just, it's all because of you guys. Like you guys really have helped me out so freaking much. Um, because of you guys, I think that's the reason why I freaking beat Study, Censor, uh, Mercs, uh, Skump. Havoc, bro. I beat all those players and shoot, man. It's because of you guys <laughs> Giving me that confidence How was the internet on the farm? True, true Marks, baby sheep for food <laughs> That's crazy. Oh I had no idea That's really cool and interesting. Thank you Marks for uh, providing food for the world, dude. That's really cool Thank you so much how is the internet? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, it's lamb season here too. I live in a rural vi village. I love seeing the baby lambs. Jason, whenever I was able to like see you post pictures of like your walks on Twitter, oh man, I'm in love with like your scenery and like your environment. That's really cool. That's really cool. You helped me get out of Heartstuck Gold last season and now I'm almost diamond. Vizen, bro. Hey, make sure you give yourself a pat on the back too, Vizen, because you put in the work, you put in the time watching the content, you applied the content, so like, great job doing that, and uh, thank you for saying I helped, man, be a part of it. I appreciate that. Uh, DJM, I do concrete, curb, sidewalk, raise manholes, uh, catch basins, basins, to prep for when they lay the finished asphalt down on the subdivision. That is freaking sick, bro. JM, thank you for giving me the sidewalks to walk on, bro. I freaking appreciate that so much. That's really sick. Raise a manhole. So, well, I gotta make sure I, I gotta be careful saying that. <laughs> Pause, what am I saying? But JM, rate, like, manholes, are those hard to open? Are they, like, really hard to open or what? That's interesting. Uh, we have alpaca here, too. The village is known for it. Hey, alpaca? Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Jason, man, those walks must be freaking blissful. Unfortunately, where I'm at, dude, I'm uh, I'm in the city, so like it's literally just freeways, highways, cars. Of course, you got your freaking fast food and, you know, big city and all that, but it, it's hectic, man. It is hectic. We definitely need our freaking asphalt and uh, sidewalks fixed, so... Whenever you can come over here, JM, and fix that, please. <laughs> Man, you're making me hungry for lamb chop right now. <laughs> hey, there we go. Now the community is coming together, and we're about to we're about to have a feast on some lamb chops. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I gotta make sure I, I talk over this so I don't get DMC aid. Sorry for talking so much. When I'm not playing and talking, I tend to do a lot of talking. <clears throat> oh, this is major too. A little bit of thigh. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that's fresh. That's good. That's a good joke. I love that. 
In September, I'm gonna study law. I'm gonna take eight years. When I graduate, you're gonna be pro. Dave, what? Dave, that is gonna be insane. If like eight years from now, I'm still streaming, you're still in chat, and like literally, it's just, hey, Dave. Yep, I'm a pro now. Are you are, are you a lawyer now? <laughs> That's so insane. Um, so Dave, you're studying law. Does that mean you become a lawyer, or are there other things you can do? Uh, like, could you be like a politician, I guess, or I'm, I'm wondering what all jobs you can get and careers you can get with that. Uh, I wish you best of luck, though, of course, and uh, I hope you do do what's right. Uh, can't believe they're actually playing CDL six star right now. Let's go, dude. I've been waiting for this all day, man. I heard that um, obviously at the beginning of this week, we got the brand new maps. So now I was just like waiting. I was like, this Friday, we have to play six star hard points. Someone has to play it. And we are. Oh, take me back, dude. Don't take me back, but take me back. <laughs> dude, what an insane event, man. What an, an insane event. Never went there, but boy, did I watch the whole thing. His teammates are just sitting there waiting for him. <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. I love it. Good stuff, man. You're watching Call of Duty League TV. That's cool, Jason. That's good. That's good. Good vibes, chat. No, absolutely good vibes. Thank you guys so much for sharing uh, things about your lives. Uh, Jason, Jack, Dave, Vizen, Jordan, uh, Marks. Freaking appreciate it. I love learning about you guys and... Uh, I always just try to, you know, give back as well. Try to run some money eights, or not money eights. Try to run eights on Mondays. Try to run Monday eights. <laughs> we could run money eights if you guys want, but... No, yeah, Monday eights. <clears throat> Elias, who you got between Vegas and LA cheese? Hey, man, I'm gonna... Dude, this is a hard question, right? So, like I said, I love everyone on every team. It's hard to choose when they're matched up against each other. But I'm honestly going to have to go with LAG. Just because LAG, they've really been working like a team recently. Not only that, but when they first got involved, everyone put them down. Everyone said, LAG, not working. This is dumb. Da -da 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 -da. Look at them. They stuck, to, they stuck together, and now we're headed into uh, qualifiers for Major 3. And, uh, bro, they're popping off, man. They are popping off. So I'm hoping LAG wins this. They've stuck together for a long time. They're disciplined. I believe in them. Gotta talk so I don't get... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just gonna literally just spam words right now. Diamond Con, yes. Fame, yas. All right, let's go. Let's get into this match. Let's get into this, baby. Uh, in the Netherlands, any, uh, in the Netherlands, everyone can be a politician. And yeah, of course, you can be a lawyer and a lot of other jobs. Dave, yeah, see, I, I get it, man. I, I just gotta get back to school, man. I gotta get educated. Uh, that's really sick, because when I hear studying law, I just think of, like, a lawyer or, like, politics, and that's it. But, like you said, there's a lot, so I'm going to do some research, because that's really cool, man, and I wish you best of luck. I mean, what do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to do, Dave, when you get your law degree? Dave, then you can look over the CDL contract for Elias. There you go, bro. That's the whole point of a community. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point of the community, man. I got my uh, physical uh, health and diet and everything from Jordan. I got all my lamb chops and food from Mark's. I got my beautiful uh, scenery from Jason, just keeping the good vibes up, sending me pictures. Uh, what else? What else? <laughs> Dave, you can look over the uh, log contracts. Bro, this is... We're just gonna create our own country now. Screw it. Let's just do it. No, just kidding. I'm kidding. Nah, dude, this is insane. I love you guys so much. I hope he's a pro before that. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, I'm. I'm hopefully gonna be a pro in three to five years. Hopefully. 
Does it give you a warning if you aren't talking enough for the streaming CDL? It does not give me a warning at all, Jordan. It's if I'm not talking for longer than 15 seconds when music is playing, I can get DMC date. So like right now, this is fine. Like the music in the background's fine. It's because they're talking over it. So like if I don't talk, I'm fine here. Uh, but when they do the intros, I have to talk through the intros. If I don't talk through the intros, I can get screwed over. Clean break. You know what marks. Does it give you a warning if you aren't talking enough? Oh, I already read that. <laughs> Criminal law is most interesting, but business law is the most money. Still deciding, want to experience both first. That's good to know, Dave. Thank you. Bro, yeah, why am I... Why didn't I think of that? Like... That's so good to know. Thank you, Dave. I mean, obviously, I just hope you do what you enjoy, Dave. And uh, if you enjoy making a lot of money, I hope I hope you do that. <laughs> I can fix anyone's car also. Jason, there we go, buddy. I need that, man. Um, once I get a new car, I'm, I'm aiming to get, you know, a Toyota or a Honda, good old reliable. And uh, I'm always going to send that bad boy over to you, Jason. I'm going to, what is it? Over the sea. Okay, dude, I got scared. I literally thought someone was at my door right now. You are not wrong, brother. That is going to change things in a big, big, big way. Very excited to get the series started, though. Chance, how diddly doodly? I, Daddy, yeah, no, dough. I got no Simpsons references for that, unfortunately. But I'm yeah, I literally thought someone was at my door. Sorry for tweaking right there. I think that's like the first time you guys have ever seen me like actually tweak out. <laughs> like, what the heck is happening? It's the same with law over here. As though. What can you not talk? What can you not talk? Uh, yeah, so, Marks, whenever um, they do the trailers or the uh, intros for the teams, uh, I can't. I, I have to talk over that. If I don't talk over that, I will get DMC aid. But, like, right now, I don't need to talk over any of this. Like, I could just be quiet. I'm going to be fine. Just because there's other people talking. It's just the music that's the biggest issue. If there's music with uh, nobody talking over it, I get screwed over. But six star hard point. Two and four is going to spawn behind one. Let's go. Number eight's picking up this right lane. Just because uh, Vegas, if they literally just keep focusing this left-hand side, eventually, if number two pushes into P2, that'll start spawning LAG in the bottom right side of the map. And right there, because number five is preeming that middle alley right there, I'm assuming that's why number four spawned in the top right. Uh, either way, that was a pretty weird spawn top right. And now right there, this happens all the time. That happens all the time right there where randomly you get parallel spawns. I don't know why that happens other than um, someone right there was preeming down the middle. So maybe number eight was sitting middle and he was looking down middle and preeming middle and that blocked the spawns because that blocked the spawns. Maybe that gave them parallels. That's at least my uh, understanding. Yeah, they, even they're saying it. Ooh, that's a good spot. I'm still in that spot. That's a good corner. And right here, if one of these players can push up towards that elbow in the top right, that can start spawning the enemies out. But for Vegas, you don't want to spawn out right now. So this is a perfect situation for Vegas right here. Because uh, P3 is going to be on the top left of the map. So number three, if he plays this... Okay, good. All right, good. So obviously we want to soak up that time. We don't want to die, but if they pushed up a little too far right there, eventually LAG would just spawn behind them. But at this point, they should be able to hold a full 60 right here, Loki. Every lane is picked up. This is beautiful. Every kill that uh, Vegas get, LAG will be spawning middle, but never mind. So now every kill that we get, they're LAG spawning top right. And after these wave of kills, if... Okay, they're still just going to spawn top right. Yeah. Number two is anchoring the spawns right here. So if number one did push out front, the enemies would spawn middle. 
But with 30 seconds, this is when you want to go for a rotation. That's actually a good death because potentially that could flip spawns. Yes, that was a perfect death because now all of LAG should be spawning left lane right there. And now Vegas, when they go for this rotation, they're already going to have the map control and power positions for new. And just like that, Vegas, they have the rotation, they have the power positions, they have point. Number two is there to cut middle. This is, again, perfect example for Vegas right there. And now uh, LEGs are going to be spawning on the left lane right here or middle. Because number four is looking over statue, I assume that's the reason why LEG keeps spawning middle right there. Number two is just making sure his pinch is safe. I mean, this is going to be a bang out right here. Oh my goodness. How did LAG just bang through like that? Oh, interesting. Interesting. And no matter what, uh, Vegas are going to keep spawning in the top right side of the map, no matter what, right here. We're all looking the same angle right there. That should never happen. Nero should never get a two-piece right there, ever. That was just a really bad play. Um, and then because number four goes for that rotation, he blocks middle for a little bit. That spawns purple behind them in the top right. And then number four leaves middle, and then that spawns purple uh, left middle. But now LAG have a full rotation. This is a money hill. We could definitely see a full 60 right here from LAG. Fame has a sub and point. This is going to be very tough. Fame doesn't know that. Uh, that sucks. If you just play underwater with your pistol, that's going to set you up for success. Wow. Beautiful map control. They're holding all of middle now. Funneling the enemies. Oh, never mind. So right there, Vegas, they're trying to maintain that middle map control. If they get that middle map control, they obviously have rotation for P1, but that also funnels the enemies into the top lane. And honestly, LAG did not get a lot of time on that. I thought LAG were going to be fine, and unfortunately, they don't know that you can shoot with your pistol underwater, so I guess that's why they got broke. But Vegas right here, they're going to have good spawns now for the rest of the... Uh, next few hills for P1, P2, and then when we flip to P4. And look at LAG going for a longer route push right here. I wonder what happens to spawns because this is the first time I've seen this happen. Okay, so number two. Number two was pushed up so far right there. That's why number five spawned out. That's why. Big three from Nero. I mean, shoot. Flipping spawns, giving the enemies good spawns. It don't matter if you're frying. Are these live games? These are all live right now, Blake. Yep, these are happening right now. Since everyone is sharing, uh, I don't do anything cool like that, but I put in the safety systems and prepare a vehicle to be able to be dangerous. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, but I prepare a vehicle to be able to carry dangerous goods on the road safely and other auto electric uh, uh, auto electronics. Dude, Jack, bro, that is cool, man. Because <sighs> this is going to sound bad, but here's why this is cool, Jack. If you screw up at any point, uh oh. <laughs> so you actually have a lot of power and control. And I'm glad that you are doing those safety systems, man. Um, do you actually do like programming jacks or is it more so of like a uh, actual system with like a team and uh, labor? That's really cool either way, man. And once again, thank you for uh, making sure that people are safe. So that's really good, especially with dangerous, <laughs> dangerous goods. What do you mean by dangerous goods? <laughs> The Dutch are pretty good at business, so the big law firms here specialize in merges in the USA. Oh, that's sick, Dave. Oh, good for you. So you're really, like, in a good spot, kind of, like, going down a good lane right now. Um, what's up, brother? What's good, Blake? Uh, Purge been smashing in ranked, dude. He's smashing in, uh... Well, he's playing a team game right now, but because he's playing perfect, like that's smashing right there. That is a disciplined play right there, and that just guaranteed his team the rest of the time. 
spawn or maybe purge off spawn can pick him up for the trade so vegas they handle and purge especially that pressure perfectly and now you go right back to the same standard setup they had the last go around filthy head glitch just watch one angle and wow vegas is vegas is just playing this textbook now at this point with less than 30 seconds you definitely want to push out and go for a flip Number four right here should push out, look for these guys left, play for these cuts, and then spawn LAG at old. So good. Five is going to spawn old. There we go. Okay, so right there, number two, if he pushes the left lane, I'm assuming that if number two kept pushing the left lane at P2, he would have blocked those spawns, and that would have guaranteed LAG to spawn out right there. So no matter what, in the future, I can guarantee you guys, we're going to see pro teams going for a rotation off of P2. One player's going to be pushing left lane, blocking P2 spawn. One player pushing middle, blocking middle spawn. And they're going to try to flip and give the opponents bad spawns on old. But right here, for whatever reason, LAG is really good at holding this hard point. Uh, except for last time, they kind of made like one little hiccup and they just got broke. And this should be a GG's right here because now this is a pretty easy spawn trap uh, to hold LAG in. But it just looks like, uh, once again, you know, Vegas really don't have a good understanding of the spawns. So we kind of just don't look the right lanes. Um, and uh, we don't end the game right there, but Vegas on the rotation. Number two should get into time. Number four will hold a cut. And this is where we should see a, a GG's more than likely. Every time I say this is where we should see a GG's, the hard point nearly gets broken. Every time I say this should be GG's, LAG just pops off by a freaking... Oh my goodness. So now this is where things get interesting because LAG has the map control. They can hold the rest of this time. And as long as number seven, um, or as long as they just rotate and maintain that middle map control, they can actually come back, take this to a P2, and potentially have uh, P2 be the deciding factor on who wins. Big. So number six is going to get middle right here. Number eight should go middle as well. And then six and eight should have been playing middle the entire time for new. Six is pushing up really aggressive. It looks like he wants to go for a... Uh... Uh. Mm, they're not middle though. Oh, you could streak through the building. So let's watch this kill streak right here. Number eight. Yep. Yep. This is really good. Good. Beautiful too. Oh my goodness. They're going to take this to a P2. The only issue right here, number six has to push out. Number six should play for a set of kills here. And then once they get the set of kills, six should push out and go for a flip. So unfortunately, number six hasn't gotten any kills. That's why he hasn't given up his position yet. There's one. Oh, uh-oh. And it's not over yet. Yep, still not over. Still not over, exactly. And at this point, I would instantly send one of my players right lane, go for a pinch. Seven and five, six, they would pinch it together, and then they would soak up the new hard point. But again, this is where like they really haven't practiced this map enough, so like we're not really doing the plays we need, but they're doing it. They're just fighting head on, non-stop. And GG's. Bummer. Right there, he got a dead slide in that vent. That really sucks. If he didn't get a dead slide, he probably uh, gets into point right there and keep them alive. But just because Vegas have good spawns right there, that's kind of like the main reason why they win. If you're going to do what you, if you love what you do, you're golden. Exactly. Hope all is well, bro. How long will you be streaming for? Currently driving home from work. Hey, drive safe, Maze. Get home safe. Um, I'll probably be on for an hour. Um, and that's when these matches should end. So yeah, I'll probably be on for another hour. That's proper interesting. I love electronics on vehicles. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Especially when new vehicles came out. Then I got to develop new systems and solve new problems. Dude, Jack, see, man? Like... That is, that is cool. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, hey, Brian. What's good, Brian? Thanks so much for stopping by. I do not stream to Twitch at all. Um, it's just... 
It's just not my platform. It just, it doesn't really work for me, so. No streams on Twitch, unfortunately. But, thank you for stopping by, Brian. Good to have you, man. Yeah, this map is great for Pro CDL. Dude, that was... I'm very happy we're able to watch that right there. Sorry if I was yapping too much, but I enjoyed that, dude. I can't believe Nero got so many, like, three pieces, too. Does that mean you deal with software issues the electronic cars are having? Dude, let's go. Look at that. Jason and Jack being able to, like, just, like, chat about that. That's so cool. Again, I don't... I'm not, again, I'm very uneducated when it comes to a lot of a lot of things, really. Uh, but I'm glad that people in chat can at least connect with each other. Um, best community ever, again. Love you guys. All right. It literally just looked like Vegas had good spawns the entire time. Vegas started with bad spawns. They flipped it around uh, P4. Obviously, they didn't really hold P4. They did break it and got some scrap time, and then they just held good sides for P5, P1, P2. Obviously, P3, they ended up flipping somehow, um, and then after that, it was just GG's. I thought LEG was going to come back for a second. Dude, Fizen, I thought so as well. Um, I'm just impressed how LEG, they just four men hit the front, just do a bang out, and it works for them. That was really impressive to check out, and maybe that's the reason why like LEG did so well at Major 2. Uh, it's just because they have excellent like baiting and switching as a whole squad. Because uh, that was awesome watching them like break that P4, breaking that P2. Insane. Breaking that P5 all through middle, that was insane. Nero can be him? Absolutely. Oh, that's sick! No way, Brian. So, Brian, I saw another video on YouTube where someone was gassing you up for your coaching. That's how I found your channel. I'm considering buying a coaching session from you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Brian. Um, Could you tell me which YouTube video you saw it from? Uh, I'm very interested to know because... Uh, I just, I just very interested to know. Um, but either way, thank you so much for stopping by, Brian. Ask me as many questions as you'd like. I'm always happy to help. I've been a full-time Call of Duty coach for the last three years, and uh, no matter what, our first coaching session, we pretty much assess your gameplay, create a personalized crash course, and then answer any questions that you may have. And that first coaching session is literally everything you need for like the next five, ten years of Call of Duty. Knock on wood. Hopefully there's no like crazy changes in Call of Duty. <laughs> you mind me asking how old you are? I am 25, Brian. Uh, Nero on a stronger team could excel even more. Bro, eventually, like, who knows? We might see Nero three, five years from now, potentially being on one of the top four teams. I'm not sure if I can go back and find out. Uh, give me one second. Yeah, no worries, Brian. So vehicles carrying explosives and chemicals or even fuel, anything flammable, so it's systems like cut off devices to shut off the vehicle's electronics emergency or roll over devices ex Jack, you're telling me that's not cool? Dude, that is sick, bro. Again, thank you so much for being able to, you know, just keep people safe. That is awesome, dude. And <laughs> carrying explosive chemicals and flammable things? That's nuts, bro. That is awesome, man. And thank you for doing that. Uh, ooh, Karachi S and D. Okay. It's been a minute since I've seen this one, Loki. Big kill. Again, oh, Diamond Con, 3v4, okay, 3v2, you can collapse from every angle. No! No! Yep, hop it, just hop it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, if he hopped it, he would have been dead, but honestly, I would have just ran forward and played for number two, since number three was one shot. But I don't know, that's really tough. Geo did not need to guess. Nero was there for it. It was a lovely start there from Vegas Legion. 
That was a very interesting round, too. I mean, you basically had Vegas were, like, scared to plant the bomb because they had no intel the entire time. But however the round pans out, this is literally the gunfight that was the difference maker fame from prone to standing took a little bit too long and well nero simply guns him down so as interesting of a round one develop on a strat front it is all up to gunny in cod nero delivers in vegas again best team in the uh, league on attacking rounds on karachi really so that expectation there vegas best team offense rounds on karachi i love hearing that Things exploding across the map nothing too far these days we say goodbye to ordinance from the clubs does mailing up the ladder keep your gun up? I'm going to start doing that if that's true. Because Estrio got a lot of damage down right there. Normally, after climbing the ladder, you have to YY to reset the animation, and then you can play for the kill. But it looks like because he melees while he's climbing up the ladder, that just cancels the animation altogether when he get, once he gets up. That's pretty interesting. Hey, that's sick! It was Hunter TV, not a channel I follow. Just one with a lot of views. I actually watched your stream the other day, and the maps dropped too. I'm a fan, and you have great energy. Brian, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, dude, working with Hunter TV was a freaking privilege. That was so fun to do. Um, and uh, yeah, man, hey, I hope I helped you with those new maps on Wednesday. Obviously, they took forever to drop, so that was annoying. Uh, but today, um, if you go back to the stream at all, I actually um, went over how to play six star hardpoint. I went over the spawns. I went over where you should sit, where you should expect people. So um, I did that earlier today in the live stream. If you want to check that out, I will uh, upload that as its own YouTube video, though, if you want to wait. Uh, but thank you so much for going back and checking that out for me, Brian. I'm just always interested to know um, how those videos are doing. Not really the software, but all of your ac uh, aftermarket stuff like cruise control and speed limiters and so on. <laughs> that is... Jack, you control cruise missiles? Cruise control? That's so... I'm just kidding. I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I'm stupid, but I'm not dumb. Or, no, I'm dumb, but I'm not stupid. What player can you see similarities to with yourself that's on a pro squad right now? Jordan, that comes to mind. Three players. I'm going to say Skump, Draza, Selium. Yep. When I play as an SMG player, I more than likely play a lot like freaking Skump. And then whenever I pull out the AR, which I most almost always just run the AR, I tend to play like Selium and uh, Draza. At least that's what I like to think. Good stuff, Jack. That's definitely interesting. Uh, I will do that. Gonna join the Discord as well. Thank you so much, Brian. In that Discord, 10 bucks a month, uh, tier one, you have access to all the spawns and timings for all the new maps and uh, current maps as well. Uh, not only that, it's 10 bucks a month, and uh, you also get access to our uh, weekly eights. Unfortunately, we're not running eights this Saturday, uh, but we will next Saturday. Diamond Con 1v2. If anyone can do it, it's him. But it's Geo and Purge. Discipline players. Smart players, too. They should win this. Yeah, look at this. Like, literally running together, holding each other's backs, holding crosses. I guess they didn't know that A bomb was down, though. That's kind of unfortunate. He's going to be sweet for the fight, but he has read this for a brief moment. What does he know that we don't? He just oh, oh, man. Oh, that timing was horrific. Called the yep. timing at its finest. Oh, my God. Oh, oh goodness. He's on the wrong way now. No bomb. The lads are going to check the bomb site. They're going to see that the bomb's down. They've let a little bit of gunfire rattle across as we are desperately trying to get into the action. Tragic. It's not going to happen. Purge and Geo, slow and steady win that race. This Diamond Con... Oh, no way. I'll be definitely joining that. That's definitely a thing I'm looking for. Heck yeah, Brian. Yeah, um, usually people try to get some eights running on their own in the Discord if they can. Uh, but no matter what, every Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we definitely try to play eights. Um, obviously, Discord members, they always have a priority. I think you play a lot like Dashy. Hey, let's go, Jordan. Damn. Okay, I didn't know I had the hype right there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, it's just, since I play, like, flex, I feel. <sighs> nah, man, you're right, dude. You're right. I, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. 
Because like whenever I play with pro players, like I know how to play with pro players. So when I'm on a pro player team, I sit there and I just say, all right, I'm going to do the easy work since you guys are going to slay out. Right. And it's like, I'm, I'm okay with that because like it's chill. It's not too hard at all. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe when I actually play with constant pro players, maybe I do tend to play mostly like dashy. That's interesting. Thank you so much. I actually made a YouTube video called How to Play Like Dashy. <laughs> and uh, it did pretty well. I might as well do another one. I hope that doesn't hurt anyone's ear, by the way. Sorry if it does. Salute. Hey. Hey, hey, what's good, the kid? We're doing amazing today, man. Thank you for always stopping by, showing the love and support. I hope your Friday is going good. I hope your weekend even goes better. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, kid. Uh, I work at the time, but I would join for the spawn stuff alone. Thank you, Brian. Awesome, man. And uh, not only that, but... Um, Obviously, like Saturdays when we run them at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, usually they last about two to three hours long. So you might be able to catch on at the end. Um, and then Mondays, Mondays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I usually try to always run uh, eights if I can uh, through YouTube. Right now, Vegas Legion, I mean, they're just taking LAG to task. It has not been remotely close. We saw some good close. <sighs> Didn't know that we're going to have uh, this big of a dom domination. Can you strafe jump to that brick wall right there? I feel like you can't. This could be a first I don't even know why you would, but... I mean, he's just waiting for his moment. I think Attach sort of gave up on the gunfight there, but Adam Assault at some point is just going to meet his... Did he hear it? Did he hear the mantle? Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh, Ooh, and he got out. Big win. And wow. The subs literally just took over that map right there. Five one, yeah, Vegas on offense. Right They're probably going to go for an a, uh, a B hit right here. Perfect. I can catch at the end on Saturdays. Awesome, Brian. I hope uh, I hope to see you, man. Thank you so much for stopping by as well. Uh, thank you for rewatching the stream on Wednesday. Uh, and yes, Nightbot. Yes, Nightbot said, if you guys would like to help me out, please click a like on the live stream and subscribe. It helps a ton. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys for leaving likes on the videos. I appreciate you guys for keeping up the streams in the background, rewatching the streams. And more importantly, I appreciate everyone else who also goes above and beyond with the super chats and the memberships. Uh, you guys, again, making my dream come true. It's, it's amazing. And I hope in the future to return the favor. All right, damn. Yeah, you got first blood. You got the info. Getting bombed down. 4v2. That's a GG's. All right, what control are we playing? GG's. <laughs> six star to a 6-1. I say that for a few reasons. One, you both love the AR, of course. True. Both of you play off spawn readings. You have to. <laughs> both win your far and medium range gun fights all the time. Yeah, all the time. You know that. And you can clutch up and you can play for the team. Jordan, damn. All right. I guess I am Dashy 2.0 for now. Eventually, I'm going to be better than Dashi, and I'm going to be Elias. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. But, dude, Jordan, I freaking appreciate that, man. Thank you for the uh, analysis. Thank you for the breakdown. And uh, like I said, bro, at the start of, like, live streaming, like, you guys really built my confidence over time. All of you. All of you guys have built my confidence where now I'm literally frying against top amateurs i've beaten skump beaten havoc beaten uh sensor beaten you know tons of people already so i'm only gonna you know keep getting better and better and uh 
just thank you guys. Thank you for the energy. Thank you for the feedback loop. Thank you for so much. Things looking absolutely fantastic. Um, I think you are the nicest guy on the planet. Love your positivity because you stop uh, because of you stop playing, watching your streams. It's so much easier. Greetings from Germany. Keep on going. You are the best. Vado. Hey, Vado, Vado, Vado. Much love, much love. I appreciate it so much, dude. Um, I try to be positive as much as I can, and thank you for always checking out the streams. I appreciate you. <clears throat> is it cool to drop my gamer tag on the Discord chat? I would love to play with people. Please, absolutely, the kid. Go ahead and try to message people and hashtag chatting or uh, hashtag find teammates. That's where you could try to find teammates, kid. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy. Uh, but wow, Vado. Hey, we have a lot of people from Germany, Vado. So, like, say hi to everyone. <laughs> and glad to have another one, man. Love it, man. Um, I have never been outside of my country united states um i hope in the future one day to visit you know australia europe uh <laughs> i said europe uh europe um i hope i get to visit you know australia europe um i would love to visit the middle middle east south america i learned that people live at an antarctica and i didn't know you could do that so i'm gonna have to do that as well uh it's just I mean, dude, we're, we're, we just got to live life, you know? So I'm happy to see that everyone's all around from the world in this chat, and I hope to experience. Is the pro issue Ravel 9 any better than the normal builds? I've been using it, and it's good. Marks, I'm not sure if the build has, like, any cosmetic changes. So the pro Rival 9... If the cosmetic issue is different where like the iron sight is better that's the reason why it's better but if there's nothing different like cosmetic wise then no you're good it's gonna be the exact same thing maybe it's placebo effect though who knows i'm back but i'm turning you onto my big screen and gonna watch while i eat dinner so won't be in chat bro all good maze hey as always man much love thank you so much for pulling up the stream enjoy your dinner i hope it's good Blessings. Yep, yep, there it is. There it is. Dang, bro. I guess we're about to see a 3-0, but it's high-rise high control. I think this is Legion's map pick. So we very well may see a 3-0 right now. It's going to be a little sad. I don't like 3-0s. I like, I like map 5s. I also wanted to see that 6-star S&D, but all good. 50 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and just mute the music so I don't have to, like, keep talking. Oh, I just received a... Oh, that's very nice. Oh, okay. That's why. Sean, if you're in chat... Sean, I love you, man. Thank you for the order, <laughs> for the coaching. I hope the session went good for you yesterday uh, as well, man. All right, 15 seconds, and now we will see if this is going to be a 3-0 on high-rise control. Sponsored by Monster Energy. I wish, I wish. I got to, you know, I should start doing that. Yo, should I just start, like, blocking off this, like, bottom left corner? And then, like, get my own sponsors. <laughs> Tell Monster to sponsor me before I show them on my stream. Have you noticed much about personality traits versus game style? It's something they talk about all the time in other sports. I am new to watching gaming, so I don't know as much about esports and COD. Yes, Jordan, absolutely. Personality does tie into play style. Um, so Skump, he is known as the GOAT, known as the king, known as the best. That obviously builds up your confidence, builds up your alter ego, your ego, Skump, you are the best. So Skump, he's extremely disciplined, like ridiculously disciplined. Um, not only that, but in real life, like when he puts his mind towards something, running, lifting weights, um, just anything, he freaking just performs. He, it, it just, he's the king, it's insane. But then you have other players like Scrappy, right? 
Scrappy is known for being the loud mouth, not giving an F. Who cares? He trash talks. And because he does that, he gets under people's skin. He gets on their nerves. Because he knows he's the best, he's frying everyone. It is insane. I love it. Selium. Selium is a player who literally does not give a F. He says it all the time. He's like, I don't give an F. I don't give an F. And he snakes, right? Um, Obviously, he was really nice and decided not to snake in this game. And he follows the GA. But he's really, I don't give an F. Okay, I'm going to sit in this corner the entire game. I don't care. Last year, he just uh, snaked all the time. He said, you could do it too. It's so awesome. Um, This is a really bad thing to say. But I like to think... Call of Duty is like the new wrestling, right? Obviously, the WWE, freaking huge still. WrestleMania was the biggest it's ever been. But I think Call of Duty is like the new WWE where you learn these personalities. You just want to support each and individual player. You just love for what they do, right? Um, it's it's just so exciting, man. I've, I've grown up with this. Ah, man, I'm, I'm just really passionate about it. <laughs> I think you can apply to sponsors. For an example, Game Fuel does that. Yeah, Jason, exactly. I just learned that, Jason. So thank you for like confirming that and like telling me that. Um, I didn't know you can apply for Game Fuel. I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Jason. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing I learned is you're really only gonna get sponsorships and partnerships if you reach out to companies and you reach out to brands. Um, of course, eventually the bigger you get, people will come to you instead. Uh, but when you're first starting out, it's very important to do it on your own. So that's something I've been learning. And uh, I guess I'm going to apply for my first sponsorship. Thank you, Jason. Game fuel. <laughs> that's the thing, though, is I also want to, like, make sure I uh, represent brands that I enjoy. So it sucks because I rarely, rarely ever take, uh, like, caffeine, uh, especially to play. But if I do, normally I love drinking um, Yerba Mate. Um, and there's the Guayaki, uh, brand, and then there's the Yachak brand. And unfortunately, none of them are accepting sponsorships or partnerships. So it's like, dang, you know, I actually really, really loved these brands. And unfortunately I can't work with them. So now it's like, do I work with game fuel, even though that goes against my beliefs and everything? Really interesting, uh, really interesting, like, path I'm on right now and just learning and everything dropped Elias what's your personality trait what type of player are you kill them with kindness do what what do what it takes to win uh so if I gotta sit on the hard point to win the game <laughs> sure I'll do that <laughs> fine no issues at all um I, I like to I like to think that I am a very secure uh player which is funny because uh, this is a little personal, but I find myself as a very insecure person, and that's something I've been working on my entire life, and like I said, building my confidence and everything, but when it comes to Call of Duty, I feel extremely secure with all the decisions I make, everything that I do, um, and like when someone tells me, hey, you're playing wrong, hey, you're doing this wrong, sure, okay, sure, I'll say that they're right, and I'll do what they do, and guess what, if I F up and I lose, I'm gonna say, hey, it didn't work, so I'm gonna do my thing. And then now we're probably going to win. <laughs> um, yeah, that's like my kind of uh, personality. Kill them with kindness. I never trash talk. I think trash talking is the worst thing I could ever do. Whenever I do trash talk, I almost always lose. So that's why I don't do it. But yeah, that's kind of like my personality, I like to think. You can also speak with a marketing company, bro. Most big brands actually have marketing companies that do their stuff for them. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, dang, Jordan. I gotta figure that out then, because ever since, like, you know, running my own company and, like, running my own business and everything, like, I've just been learning, like, hey, you know, probably, like, the most important person you should first hire is, like, an accountant, and then after that, then you would want to get, like, a YouTube manager that can do all of your edits and uploads for YouTube, and then the next thing after that, it's... I don't know. It's just, it's a whole new learning experience, but I'm going to research that. Thank you so much again, Jordan. Look for marketing companies. Gotcha. 
How do you exactly play the SMG role? Carnage. So playing as an SMG player, uh, you have to obviously play the lanes that work the best for you. So close range gunfights on this map, it tends to be underground a lot. Um, you can kind of get lucky sometimes over there on the A side if you get some good timings. Uh, but mostly, you're kind of like baiting for your team. You're the entry player. You're flying in, you're trying to get that first kill, and then eventually you will die, and then your teammates are there to win the trades. That's typically what like an SMG player does. Um, also, an SMG player also tries to push up into the enemy's base and plays cuts. Uh, you want your SMG player like being a rat in the enemy's base and just literally cleaning them up, hiding, and just causing pressure on the opponents. Um, another another example is like you work with your AR when you're pushing up a lane to like break a lane so your AR would pre-aim and look over you while you're the sub player you're pushing up and uh, while you're pushing up if you see an enemy you aim shoot him and your AR will just back you up and that's how you get map control I'm addicted to playing COD, especially ranked. Watching your gameplay and videos has helped me tremendously. Thank you, 100. Dude, the kid, you're too kind, man. Hey, man, I appreciate the words. I appreciate the support. I'm glad that you're winning those games, and uh, I'm glad you have a passion for it, man. That's really fun. Um, like, I've subcontracted jobs for Nike, Under Armour, and list goes on, and all those gigs came from the marketing companies working for those brands. Dang. All right, Jordan, I gotta... See, this is what I was saying. Like, literally, I was just recently learning, oh, I have to go out to the sponsorships and the brands. And thankfully, like, right now, you just blew my mind and just said... Bro, what? <laughs> Make it easier on yourself. Don't do not do the hard thing, do the easy thing. Just go to the marketing companies that works with all these companies and see if they can sponsor you and work with them. Thank you, Jordan. I really appreciate that. Dude, we've been talking over this entire control. <laughs> I have literally no clue what's going on at all. Up 2-0. LAG is on offense, so technically LAG should. All right, this is really good. That's a stack point on B. They capture it. They're gonna have a lot of time and a lot of lives to basically split up the map and try to go for a break on A. Those are really good gunfights. Five and six can push up and get the map control. Unfortunately, five dies. And this is going to be like the hardest part is LAG, they have to take the time. They have to slow down. They have to just look for kills, get map control, look for kills, and then stack the point. But like right now, we're kind of just like, uh, we're just kind of funneling right now. But there we go. They do a lot of less, uh, they do a lot less in-house. At least that's how it works here in Australia. Jordan, all the way from Australia. Bro, I had no idea. That's so sick, man. Good to know. Thank you again. Um, it's great hearing to be open about things. It's interesting. I'm extremely confident in every other areas of my life except for Call of Duty. I doubt myself all the time. When I first started playing, I played for long hours. Now I don't play enough. I need to put more time in and start believing in myself playing COD again. Hearing you be open. Yeah, Jason, dude. Call of Duty is like so freaking hard because... That's what I was trying to say um, about like personality types, like Call of Duty and video games, trash talking, that's part of the sport. Literally saying, you don't know how to aim, you don't know how to shoot, you suck, you don't know how to play this map, why are you sitting in your spawn, wow, why are you playing so scared, da -da 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 -da. all those things, those are all in game, and those are all like actual like valuable things in game, because if you can get into your opponent's head, you're going to kill their confidence, and that's just going to uplift you, and now you're going to win. It's a real thing in competitive sports. Um, so, like, it's just interesting how, like, I feel like you've been running into that. Um, especially with you telling me how, like, you were playing with um, those eights that one time. It's just, there's, <laughs> there's just so many people that are just rude and, like, not chill. And, like, even in pro league. 
Um, obviously, they keep it in game. They never take it out of game. Uh, but like, there's a lot of people who just talk schmack, and you just can't let it get to you, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing too is just like breathing in and out through your nose and just slowing down the game. Like right there, that's what I was saying. LAG, they literally have two players left alive on B. They have a 2v2, they die, and then guess what? You're supposed to slow down, look for kills, but instead they pushed out, died, pushed out, died, and then they slowed down, and that's the reason why they lost. You have to be able to flip that switch instantly, slow down when you need to slow down, and play for that win. Uh, Legion are smashing. I know, dude. I was like, dude, I mean, shoot, I might as well just walk. I just might as well keep talking. <laughs> I heard Scrap's teammate said that he doesn't just act the trash talking and stuff. He's actually deep down inside and thinks he is the best COD player ever. And that's where the talking is coming from. That's, there it is, Jack. There's that personality. There's that alter ego. There's that confidence. There's that belief. You know, the mindset is literally a superpower. Um, or contr controlling your mind is like a superpower. And there you go, Jack. Scrap literally deep down believes that he is the best. He's better than uh, everyone. And it goes to prove it, man. Even when he's losing, he's still frying all the time. Hello from France, Elias. Dude, Anthony. Wait, is it is it Anthony or is it just Antho? Either way, man, thank you so much for stopping by all the way from France. Much love. I hope you're doing good. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night, too. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people who trash talk are just as insecure as anyone else. They mastered using an alter ego slash self-talk slash positive uh, affirmations to boost their confidence. Yeah, but exactly. It's like, like but like, that's what's important, right? Um... So I forget the video, but I'm going to pull up another tab on the side real quick. Just keep that up on the background. Uh, but I'm going to look for this video of this guy who knows this guy who knows this guy. Uh, just bear with me. Because you are correct. Like, they, they very well could be, like, still insecure. But this video that I'm like looking for so I can like put it in chat. I want to show you that That alter ego and that building the confidence that's actually like really good And that's something that Kobe Bryant has done Serena Williams has done um, a lot of the great athletes um, Trying to find it dude. I wish YouTube kept the favorites playlist and not made it like its own playlist Where is it? These teams trouble, so that bodes well for Vegas. Allie, how does Attach get the same amount of deaths as Diamond Condos kill? Here it is. Okay. Uh, because Attach is a very good at the video game. Good performance yeah. from veteran players like Attach. So who is the guy who actually does everything? Play the game. Well, we get that ready. I got to talk to you about Geo here, Allie. It's not Attach today. It's the other it's AR good. who is putting in work. Todd it. Herman. Okay. So I'm going to put a link in chat if you guys want to check this out. Um... Apparently, there's this uh, guy named Todd Herman who talks about literally controlling your mind, building up your alter ego, and becoming the best player ever. Like I said, Kobe Bryant, he turns into the Mamba. Serena Williams, I don't know if she has a, <laughs> I don't know if she has a nickname or what, but she's just dominant, right? Um, it's a real thing. It's a really cool video that you guys should check out. And that's something I've been trying to do as well, just those affirmations and everything. It's funny hearing that because 9 out of 10, when someone on the other squad trash talks, I end up coming back or absolutely slaying them. Uh, they always hold... <laughs> it's always a hold my beer moment. <laughs> literally maze. Dude, no, that's, that's literally it for me too. When I hear the trash talk... It is a whole night beer moment where it's like, yes, thank you for giving me energy to just lock in and try even harder so I can slam you now. It, it goes back and forth, man. It's it's very beautiful. I love it. Uh, and this is why I love Call of Duty um, and esports in general because the s smack talk and everything still exists. Yeah, no, that's funny. Words are powerful, even the ones you tell yourself. 
there's never been anyone who's great at something that wasn't delusional to a point exactly dude nameless thank you so much for saying that uh because even the pro players talk about that um specifically nysl they had a uh podcast and they were talking about how literally you need to have delusional confidence delusional confidence is a must in call of duty but there's an issue it's not delusional confidence it's like good delusional confidence it's positive delusional confidence that helps you win in everything and it, it's just really interesting because they're sitting there they're like we need a better word for that a better word the opposite of delusional confidence you know what i mean um absolutely absolutely the oh, affirmations really good on all the new maps magical I think it's just fun to not play. saying it's a bad thing of course you have to do this exactly drop exactly sorry i didn't i didn't mean to uh take that as an argument um my apologies if i came off uh a little too strong right there but i totally agree with you dropped and thank you so much for bringing that up if you didn't bring that up dropped i would not have posted that video so thank you sorry for the late response but the manholes are just heavy we use a pickup to move the lid and then usually just flip out the frame to raise them to a proper height for the finish asphalt gotcha gotcha no <laughs> jm you're good bro it's all good um but that's good to know yeah i was wondering i was like bro like why can't anyone just like go down into a manhole but they're just heavy sweet um mal malzi being a female cod player also can be challenging with cruel words from grown men but when i do well in games it's instant karma exactly malzi dude it's that like that's the harsh reality that people don't understand we're all born and when we are born we are like technically limited to like society's uh stigmas right so one of those stigmas is girls playing video games they can't do that and it's just it's just idiotic because now you malzi you have to now deal like i said with the extra aggression and the extra words and even your own teammates that's the worst part even your own teammates can talk shit against you while you're playing and it's like i know i never have to deal with that you know what i mean it's just ridiculous and uh i'm glad that you're sticking it through though and again that mindset just knowing that you're better than everyone it should only fuel you to make that um achievement that much more sweeter so that's really good and thank you for sharing that Molzy. uh rank tack trash talk people to get into their head and if you lose mute the lobby you ain't losing anything there you go dropped yep <laughs> now for whatever reason like i said i can't trash talk if i trash talk i'm almost always losing um i've i've learned the hard way um i wonder how much that todd herman guy charges he probably doesn't even charge anymore he's probably retired right jason <laughs> nah dude it has to be something crazy like what maybe maybe fifty thousand dollars an hour just to meet with todd herman it's probably more than that most of the girls i see playing are actually pretty good at the game exactly and that's why um that's why i'm really happy that alley cat is running the uh women's league um malzi i'm not sure if you are uh in the uh wcl uh if you are if not but i'm glad that at least there's another freaking um like, there's people trying to help this community, right? We're just not like leaving them off to the side. So I'm glad that there's other people out there just doing what's right. So it's really good. And who knows, Nameless, eventually, like in the future, we very well could see uh, females starting to be pro players in Call of Duty. And that's that's the goal. My favorite ranked hack, not saying a word to the trash talkers who trash talk up O2 beating them and then asking calmly what happened bro dude and then they rage and they come at your throat right maze dude oh my gosh i think that is the best part is when you win and you go what happened and they just they lose it we will see a female cod player soon i don't doubt that exactly same uh pro yeah i can't believe i said that too but yeah i don't doubt that we won't see a pro uh female call of duty player uh because we actually do have um oh okay ultra gorillas yeah i want to watch this again rocker versus subliners but this should be fun we'll see how heretics does 
Oh yeah. Dude, Breach and Heretics? Yeah, they're, that's actually going to be a really good matchup. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see it tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoy that tomorrow when it comes out. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start closing out stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to head off. But before we do that, before we do that, don't leave yet. We are always going to check out our hashtag community clips and uh, see what kind of clips you guys are sending in the Discord. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull up the Discord, switch over to the lobby screen. Um, please don't report me, okay? <laughs> uh, you're definitely right about that, uh, Molzy. It's crazy how disgusting, yeah, exactly. Um, dude has never been, <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, facts, facts, yes, that's what sucks, exactly, yep. Uh, Seems to be great at holding angles, playing patiently. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. In the uh, women's Call of Duty League, uh, they have a lot of top challenger coaches and even pro coaches working with them. And those coaches, they're like, "Hey, this is how you play." And for whatever reason, uh, for whatever reason, it just it just sticks, right? Like you don't see that in actual challenger lobbies. It's really beautiful to watch, and uh, yeah, no, it's a really fun league to check out. Uh, trash talking used to work on me because I'm a people pleaser. So when people diss my game, I used to do worse. So I started muting them and now it doesn't get to me. There you go, Jack. Hey, there you go. And that is just like the personality, I guess, um, with your gameplay as well. Right. And I'm glad that you're muting them. And that's what I do as well. Like whenever you go to land competitions, people are always talking and I literally just don't even look at them. I block them out. I actually pretend they don't exist. And Man, they only get louder and louder and louder, and boy, does that make them worse and worse and worse. <clears throat> I literally take fools apart in lobbies if they are abusive. Uh, being older, I'm pretty clinical and usually shitting on them. Yes, let's go, Jason. Dude, I remember you had to tell me that, Jason. Uh, I think you literally messaged me, and you're just showing that, like, you just run into a lot of bad people um, uh, on your servers for whatever reason. But thank you for doing that, Jason. I freaking appreciate you, man. Um, all right. So in our discord, if you guys join and in this channel right over here, hashtag clips, if you click on this hashtag clips, that is where we will review your gameplay. Um, obviously as we can see, we don't have any new clips. So if you guys want to feel free to start posting them. Uh, but for now, for the time being, we will check out a VOD review just cause I really do need to catch up on the VOD reviews. Um, unfortunately this invasion hardpoint, we are not going to watch that. Um, but we do have a clip from Boss Mood. What kind of clip you got, Boss? Um, okay, I don't have a time machine. Can I please check this out? Ah, well, I, I can't. I'm sorry, Boss, but I'm still going to give you a, a thumbs up and a, a flame for it. Thank you. Uh, I really hope this gets reviewed, Soul King. We will review your match. Hey, let's go. 30 seconds from Soul King. Wait, Soul King, you already sent this. You sent this three other places. But hey, I'll, I'll give you the respect because this was pretty funny. So watch this. Yo, <clears throat> we already checked this out. But for those of you who haven't checked it, look at this amazing kill. Boom. That guy just walks off the map. <laughs> Easy two piece. And then Soul King spawns back up. And then I'm pretty sure he gets a nasty three piece right here with his pistol once again. So he pushes up directly middle. Good pre-aim, good job getting that info. You can get shot from middle, so be a little careful about that, but big first kill. Sliding out for the right, looking your right lane. You saw him right lane, big kill. And then this is the nasty two-piece. One, two, oh my goodness, baby. Um, obviously that was a four-piece, that was a quad, but that end two-piece right there with the pistol was so freaking nasty. Thank you so much for sending that, Soul King. Fire, fire, fire. All right, well, um. Obviously, <laughs> those were the clips, but Dead Flowers, if you're in chat right now, we're going to go over this right now. We're going to go over it. Um, even though it's Invasion Hardpoint, we're not playing this map anymore. We can at least still like check it out and hopefully like give you some you know tips and tricks. And you're playing against Havoc? Let's go. I had no idea. All right. Put this bad boy to 1080. Put this bad boy to 1.5. Let's check this out. Facts, facts. Yep, yep. Dude, um, <laughs> it will get better one day for sure. Definitely agree. Heck yeah, same here, same here. Um, just gotta, just gotta wait. Time 
is the best medicine? Or time is a factor of medicine? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but let's get right into this. Loving the head glitch, but unfortunately you got nated, so obviously never go there again. <laughs> nah, but those car bombs are just like that um, uh, high rise per paint tank, so you just kind of want to avoid them early on. Uh, but right here, based on the kill feed, we have to understand that we literally went two dead. We get traded out. That's boom, four dead. So with four dead, the enemies, their goal is to always push up and get you guys spawn trapped in palace. So instantly, you always want to be looking at your minimap and kill feed and understand that this guy is going to be here. Why is this guy going to be here? They got four dead. They're pushing up to the 50 yard line. They're going to try to be pushing up to the 25 yard line. Uh, so that should almost always be a pretty good uh, prediction on your part. We do flip spawns, which is actually really good on our end. Because now this guy isn't going to be able to predict us over here on the right. Um, obviously, you got a bad timing. He got a bad timing. Uh, wow. Uh, you just actually didn't see him. So that is a little unfortunate. And this is where, like, we can kind of sit here and, like, think about it. Off of this spawn, you could throw your stun grenade over there at a broken car and, like, see if he's pushing up, right? Um, but either way, just didn't see him. These clips are making Elias edge. What, Eddie? Uh, interesting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get excited, man. I get excited. Ooh, nice shots. Beautiful two-piece. Good confidence. Good job giving up that time because your teammate didn't push up. So you're here. Uh, your teammate should have been here and you guys would have been fine. But now you have to adapt. Great job playing discipline, playing for that kill. And now we have lives numbers advantage. We can push up for a spawn trap. And our teammate thankfully dies. So hopefully the enemies don't spawn behind us. Good. Okay. The enemies aren't spawning behind us. Good job holding this middle. Big kill. And that's another four dead. Go for that rotation. Go middle tank and start spawn trapping them again because your teammate's going left lane. So next time, just sit middle tank and spawn trap them the entire time. Keep them spawn trapped in palace. Um, because from middle tank, you could kill that guy. You could kill that guy. And now your teammate doesn't have to worry about any gunfights at all, right? Uh, but now your teammate is pushing palace for whatever reason. So the enemies are actually going to get good spawns. Cool. We got good spawns, thankfully. Really cool angle. Um, this is actually really useful. Uh, well, I don't have a <laughs> epic pen, uh, but a really good angle whenever you guys are playing control is where my mouse is, lay down right here. When you lay down right here, no one will see you middle map or right lane. And you can just lay down, hold the entire left lane. And almost always, it's like a guaranteed two piece, if not three. Good read, that's three dead. Oh my beautiful, that was a beautiful four dead right there. And that time I would once again say go middle tank. Just go middle tank because middle tank, you can hold everything from that one spot. Um, Nice, good trade. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skip through this just because P4 is typically a contest hill. You're not really gonna be able to get a lot of time on this. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why this is no longer a map being played. So yeah, we're gonna just skip through that just because you're not really supposed to get any time anyways. Uh, but all right, you're playing this full, good job. Having good, oh, I was going to say good job having good trigger discipline, but then you lost the trigger discipline. You have to understand that once again, based on the kill feed and the mini map right now, you're going to be running into three players. Okay. Havoc is that old. Okay. Bully died. Bet. Havoc is still alive. There has to be a new player. Bully will be spawning up. That's not bully, but still we have to understand that there's already two to three players around you. So you have to like be really cool, calm and collected and look for these kills because you could have had a huge opportunity to be a nuisance and then allow your teammates to push up and then pinch the hard point time. Good job getting to this high ground. You're one thing that you do extremely well is you really, really have good um, like discipline on not like dying instantly after a kill or two. So I see why you're iridescent. Good job doing that. Good job playing for that trade. And we're going to go ahead and skip forward just because P1, once again, is a little bit of a contest hill. Not only that, but we're mostly watching clips and this map isn't here. Um, 
High Rise Control, first game, no warm up, first round, got slammed. Then a Crim 2 started piping up in the chat saying easy. He then proceeded to lose the game 3 1 and too scared to turn on his mic again. I love it, Hawk. I hope you uh, record those moments and uh, <laughs> always get a good laugh out of them because those people, man, why are they talking smack? Why are they talking smack? All right, good job pushing up over here on the left. So right now, seven is gonna be spawning on your left. You're gonna to wanna to look for that kill seven. So seven is 100% gonna to be to your left. Oh, never mind. we flipped, okay. How did we flip? This is why we don't play this map anymore because you being here should not have flipped those spawns, but for whatever reason, it does. Once again, good job playing Discipline. Oh my beautiful three piece. And all of that was pointless because your teammates aren't pushing up. So this is really where now you're kind of just losing because of your teammates. Right there, you literally pop a three piece. You have two teammates. What are they doing? Holding a pre-aim in a 2v1 scenario. Why are they holding a pre-aim in a 2v1? So unfortunately, that's why you kind of lost that time. But this is beautiful. You're blocking these spawns to try and cause the enemies to spawn palace. Thankfully, ghosts should be spawning palace. You're flying here, big gunfight win. Good job waiting for your teammate, but man, teammates are just unreliable. So next time I would just say have full confidence to win that 1v1. And now at this point we should be spawning Palace and this is where it's basically gonna be a GG's. Um, I am gonna once again skip P4 uh, just because P4 really just a contest hill. Um, eventually you guys will be spawn trapped in here. Um, obviously, this isn't a map anymore, but if you wanted to break out of the spawn trap, you would want to push out the right-hand side. So I would really sit here and say, build a game plan to know what you want to do for every single hard point. Uh, because if you push out the right, you get to flip spawns. But right now, you did all of this work, and if you die, you're just going to spawn palace again. Uh, but thankfully, we do flip the spawns now because the enemies pushed up too far, and then you were aiming and blocked those spawns, and you allowed your teammates to get squad spawns. And yep, unfortunately we don't have an anchor, so those guys you're killing right now very well can be spawning behind you. Instantly, turn around. Yes, instantly turn around like you did. And just like guarantee that they're not spawning there. And once you know that they're not guaranteed spawning there, which they did, um, unfortunately they did spawn there, like you just gotta know those spawns and know that they're gonna be there, play for those kills. You had nades to throw and check, so you could have thrown both of your nades, and if you didn't hit them, now you know that they're all spawning ice cream. All right, now this is gonna be the hard part about winning. Because Havoc is on a stacked team, this is where they're gonna really have a lot of ice and play for the win. And this is where we need to have more ice than them. How do we have more ice? Breathe through your nose, play cool, calm, and collected. So right here, when you see your teammate spawned up over here in the top right side of the map, instantly that shows you that all these enemies are spawning at Mannequin towards your left, or in rugs. Um, so you would wanna look to your left and play for those kills. Thankfully, our teammates are still here getting kills. You can follow your teammate right there to play a trade. And unfortunately, like I said, Havoc, they're playing discipline. They're playing for these trades. And at this point, now they're going to keep us in a spawn trap. Good job playing discipline, looking for this kill. Again, you have nades to help you right there. You have to use your nades so much more to like clear things out and make sure you're safe. If you literally just use your nades right here and like cleared out a tank, you would be able to push up a lot sooner, and then you would have already been at middle tank before Havoc was even here. And then when you kill these players over here, you would sit there and go, hmm, the last position Havoc was in was DVD. So then on point, you would look DVD. If he's not there, then obviously he's flanking you uh, dark. And then you would predict that, you would kill him. Hopefully we soak up the rest of P1 time. Our teammates rotate to P2, but a big reason why you lost this is quite frankly, your teammates just... They're not getting the map control. They're giving us bad spawns, but hey, the map is over. And uh, thank you so much for sending that over, Kiru. Um, glad to check that out, man. All right, chat. What's good? What's good, chat? What's the agenda for the rest of the day, Elias? I'm actually going to head out right now, uh, Joseph, and then I'm going to edit a video, upload that. It's going to be the sixth star that we recorded today. Um, and then I'm actually leaving and uh, going home to basically do a bachelor's party or whatever. It's, I don't believe in that. So really it's just a hangout, but you know, older generations, they want to 
they want to uplift and keep the uh, rituals or not rituals, but the traditions. So uh, going to have a really fun time and uh, have a fun party. It's going to be really fun. Uh, good night. Where are you? I'm curious. I'm West Coast. It's 5 p.m. here, East Coast. Yeah, so it's only 2 o'clock for me. I'm West Coast, California. Uh, what is the matchmaking, though? Diamonds and Eerie game with a top 250 there with Crims? Pfft, that's the way it is, Eddie. That's just solo queue. Again, it's ranked play. It's only a product designed to keep people playing. It's not there to prove anything, so... That's uh, that's the crappy thing about that, which which I just think is ridiculous. Like, how is it that literally that is a top two fifty crim three crim three? So basically, almost two iridescents and then a diamond one. That's good. But now you have a diamond one, a diamond three, and then you're two. Like, this is basically a top two fifty two eries versus two eries two diamonds. You know what I mean? Super ridiculous. But, I mean, it's a close game, so obviously it goes to show that it was balanced and a fun game, I guess. Really ridiculous, though. <laughs> Great info. Nice. Enjoy, bro. Thank you, Jordan. Um, all right, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and head out. As always, at the end of stream, I stay in chat for five minutes after the end of stream. So if you guys have any questions or want to talk about anything, please let me know. I am always happy to help. Other than that, we will be live Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's been a pleasure working with you guys, as always. You guys are the best community. Thank you for all the likes on the videos. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the memberships. You guys are by far the best. Um, awesome to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. I hope everyone else has a great night. Have even a better weekend. Enjoy the CDL matches if you guys get to check them out. And I will see you guys Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard.